Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and let us do the good job for today. Uh, I saw some Muslims in the chat before I show up. I hope they will be there, because usually, in the second I start talking, they disappear. You know, the funny, a Muslim, he posts saying, Christianity is white pork religion, have nothing to do with Jesus. White pork. Huh. I don't know. So, I'm trying to understand the... I'm very smart. I'm, I'm really... I think he got that from the Quran. I think he is the same as his God. He took him 2,000 years to come with this idea. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I hope this Abdul is still there listening so we can talk to him if he's there. My friend, don't talk about color. I think we have a Muslim. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Christian Prince, I wanted to uh, ask you, what are your thoughts about the massacre that happened two days ago? Uh, yeah, we can talk about it. What do you think? Like so. Hmm? Um, you are, a Muslim, you, you, you are a Muslim first, question. right? You are a Muslim, right? Yes. Okay, do you condemn mascaras? I asked you a question. What do you think about I'm it? asking you, do you condemn mascaras? Oh, boy. Liars can never just answer a question. What do you think about the mascara? Do you condone it? I made a three hours video about it. You can watch it. I'm, I'm just, I just want to ask you now, what do you think? Why well, I want to repeat again and again. I'm asking you, do you condemn mascara yourself? So you can't just answer a simple question. No, I can answer it very no. simple. Any anyone who kill innocent people, he's a filthy dog. So do you condemn your prophet killing innocent people too? My prophet never killed innocent Read, people. it's in front of you. So you condemn it. That's all. That's, do you read it? No, 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 don't don't run. Don't that's be a coward. Don't be a coward. Don't be a coward. Be a man. Your prophet is no better than this man. Actually, this man is better than him because he did not rape the women. He did not rape the children. He did not kill the men when they are watering their, 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 their camels. So look at your prophet. How come? How dare you to say that I condemn this man only, but you don't condemn all terrorists because you are a hypocrite and you are double standard. You are a white supremacist. Like you are the, no, first of all, I am a Middle Eastern, you donkey. First of all, I am a Middle Eastern, so that I am I'm not considered white by, by the white people. So no, shut, up, shut up, shut up, shut up, you donkey. Shut up. Secondly, why you don't condemn your prophet killing, killing, killing Arabian? Why you don't condemn your prophet killing Arabian? So you see now, look, look what happened. Everybody is my witness. Everybody is my witness. You, you, must, you Muslims are double standard people. You have no dignity. You have no dignity. Why you don't condemn your prophet? The prophet who was sent to the Arab and to all of mankind, you reject him. So you're confused. This you is not the topic. Don't share the topic. Don't share the topic. Secondly, secondly, you're a prophet. He made fun of the black people. You're a prophet. He he call, he called Bilal raising head. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Potato. You are a potato. You are a potato. You've been fried. Here we go. Shut up. Don't call me again. You coward son of Muta. Do you see the coward? Do you condemn mascaras? No, you don't. You approve it, and you support it, and you love it. This is the truth. Suddenly, he want to talk about the black and white. What do you know about the black and white? You're a prophet, say the shaitan is a black. The one who will destroy the Kaaba is a black. Even shaitan, when he came to him and he gave him satanic verses, he made himself white so the prophet will believe him. And this is why Muhammad, he called him Al-Abyad. 
your prophet said in the Quran chapter 27 verse number 82 that no Muslim will enter heaven unless Allah he make him white do you condemn terrorism yes we do and this is why we are here condemning your prophet and the coward he will not read that coward who killed those Muslims in the mosque still he did not rape the women which means he is even though he is a cowardly criminal but yet he did not do ugliness as much as Muhammad did Muhammad did all kill all the tribe all the tribe not 50 not 100 thousands of men slaughtered in one day and he captured all the women as they are goats and he raped a woman her name is Juria in the same spot in the front of her family dying coward do you see how we get them busted Is the mic clear, guys? Is my mic clear? <clears throat> a Muslim, he want to school us about terror. When he's a prophet, he said, I've been victorious by terror. So this guy, this, this guy who commit terror, the fact he, he is, you know, as he claimed, that because the Muslims are killing, attacking, killing, attacking, killing, attacking, and he supposedly, because he's a stupid, he decided to do something about it, which we don't agree. But the fact is, you are the one who is attacking and killing for the last how many centuries? And this guy, he went crazy because he said, look what they are doing. So for us, absolutely, we don't agree with him. But because you are a shameful person, you don't want to say the truth. You don't want to say that it is you who go over the Christmas market and you go with your car and then the Muslim praise the killer. We did not see Muslims going in the street condemning going by a bus or go by, by, by a truck over Christmas people and killing women and children. Finally, there is a guy who is a crazy and they will make him a Christian now. Suddenly, this guy became a Christian now for them. And suddenly, he is a white person. Boko Haram is not white. Boko Haram raped thousands of Christian girls, kidnapped them from their family. Where is the Muslims going out in the street and condemning them? Nobody do. What is ISIS? What is Al Qaeda? What is Al Shabab? You are organized crime religion. Organized crime, not only an individual. This guy is just an, a stupid individual. Your prophet is the head of a crime organization mafia. Read carefully with me. This is your books, not ours. Written by you, translated by you, printed by you, published by you, kept by heart by you because you are so proud about it. Your prophet, he was saying, he was saying, I was victorious by terror. Why you don't want to condemn it? Did you notice, guys? When I asked him, do you condemn all terror? He did not answer. I have three hours videos about it. Go watch it. It's still there. And from the first moment, I said, we don't accept any of the executions this guy he did. Even if the Muslim is doing terror or, you know, killing every day, we will not turn to be terrorists too. Otherwise, killing everybody can kill. If I see, if I said, actually, in the video, I said, if I was there and this guy, he came inside the mosque shooting people, I will be the first to shoot him. But are you be the willing to be the first to shoot your prophet when he enter upon people watering their animals? And he raped the women and he captive the children took them as a slaves forever 
No, you will not. Actually, you will join him and you will enjoy it. And this is why you call him your prophet. This is your best example. The best example is a terrorist for you. The worst example for us is a terrorist. So, do you condemn Christian friends? Suddenly a Muslim, he is condemning terrorism. Your religion is about terrorism. Your belief is about terrorism. Your God is about terrorism. Your prophet is a head of a terrorist organization. And not only that, Muhammad, he said, I've been victorious by terror. And not only that, he said that he terrified people from a distance of a month. Is that me lying? The prophet said, I've been victorious by terror for the distance of a one month journey. What does that mean? It's mean when the when people they hear that Muhammad is coming from a month journey, a month. Look how nice he is. He is the best terrorist ever in history. He is the most acute terrorist to the point people they get terrified from a distance of a month. Is that me saying that? So you hypocrite, if you really truly refuse terrorism you should refuse your prophet but because you are a terrorist yourself you don't have a problem to terrify people who they are not muslims right but because those are muslims nobody have the right to terrify them for us as a christian we condemn all killing doesn't matter who do, who do it to be christian is to be christ-like christ he did not kill to be christian to believe and to follow what Christ he said, he said, love your enemy, not to go and take a gun and shoot people praying in the mosque. This is what you do. It's our churches are being burned. It's our cities are being burned. It's our daughters are being kidnapped. If you don't believe me, just type the word Boko Haram. Type the word ISIS. Type the word Al-Qaeda. Type the, the, the word Jaysh Muhammad, the, the, the army of Muhammad. Type and type and type and see. Just type in the last 24 hours how many people killed in the name of Allah. Just in the, every 24 hours. How dare you? Do you see how hypocrites? And by the way, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'm glad you opened this topic. Because here we go. We gave your prophet a spanking and now everybody knows who is the prophet of terror? People don't get terrified when they see Jesus from a distance of a month journey. Do you know why? I think you know why. Because Jesus killed no one. He did not come with a sword to start slicing necks, as the Quran said. Even your Quran said, attack and I will install terror in the heart of the disbelievers. Kill them wherever you find them, which means even in the church you kill them. Even in the mosque you kill them. This is your Quran. And actually the Quran teach that if a Muslim, two Muslim groups, they fight together, the one who dis disagreed to agree with the other one, kill them. This is why Al-Qaeda, they have no problem to kill another Muslim. Do you see guys how how they manipulate the news they make it to work for their benefit suddenly suddenly okay now we are the victim suddenly you are not the victim those who they are killed there they are the victims hello hello yes you hear me i do go ahead are you a muslim Yes, sir. All right. What do you think about your prophet killing innocent people? Uh, okay. Uh, 
uh, have you ever read G Georges? Have you ever what? Do you read Georges to, uh, to 1629? My friend, do you know? I'm asking Sam you about your prophet. I don't know Georgie. Say say hi to Georgie in your way. I'm asking you. You're a prophet, killed women and children, and killed people who they have nothing to do with him. Do you agree with him? No, I don't. Okay, so what do you think about Muhammad then? I, said I don't believe he did. Well, it says in the front of you. Read the story. Read the story, and then, and then, and then we're gonna read your Bible, right? You can read as you wish. Go ahead. Okay. What is the story? Read it in front of you. Okay, Bani Musali. I wrote a, I wrote a letter to Nafi, and Nafi wrote in reply to my letter that mm. the Prophet had suddenly. Mm. Uh, attack the Bani Mustalik. Mm. I know what this thing is about. Do you know who uh, who those people are? Yes, I know who they are. They are Arab tribe. Mm. They attack. They they joined the the um, the Bani. Uh, what do you call them? Um, mm -hmm. They. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking. You are looking for a name. I know you are looking for a name. You are looking for a story. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm, looking for, I'm looking for a tribe of of the prophet. The uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They joined the Quran. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Let us let us let us say this is true. Okay, you okay. join a group. Hold on, just to show you how we stupid what you are saying. Those people they are watering their animals. They are not attacking their prophet, your prophet. They, they are. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They did not okay. attack your prophet. Okay, show me the reference okay. where they attack your prophet. Go ahead, show me the reference. Right now. Show me. Yeah, right now. Right now. No, what? Right, right next year. No, I'm about to send it to you. Okay, I hope I hope you you're gonna put it up. We, for, we, we, for, we, we for, will put it up, and even if they attack, as you claim, no, what, no, what no, is the no, excuse? What is, is the excuse? What don't is run. the excuse? What's the excuse? What kind of a cowardly said, man he is to attack people when they are unaware without see. warning? We're gonna see hmm. right here. We're okay. gonna see what happened. Give me right? the reference. Give me the reference so we can love together. Okay, I'm about to. Okay, it's not a it's not a big deal. Do you want to call a friend? No, I'm not calling a friend. I'm, 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 I'm you know, mm. I don't know what he was talking about. I just called. Okay. You know, this is the story. Mm. Can you, I uh, see, I'm on a different phone. I'm researching on a different phone. Can you put in, can you, can you put in, just give me the link. And stop telling me uh, uh, just yeah. give it to me i can give you a link from this phone see i don't unless... care just give it to me hang up and give it to me hang up hang okay. up and give it to me and call me back all right <laughs> you know i will go with his logic if a tribe if a tribe according to him they joined the tribe of Muhammad against him. Have you ever heard of somebody attacking somebody when he is turning his back unless he is a coward? That is an act of a thief. Even the cowboy, when two men they fight and they are criminals, the criminal will not shoot you unless you have a gun with you. He will not shoot you if you turn your back. He will take a gun. If you have two guns, he will give you one. Even in the old centuries, where people fight by the sword, honorable men, they don't shoot, or sorry, they don't injure a man who don't have a sword with him. They say to him, "Give a, get, grab your sword. Grab your sword and fight. You're a prophet is a cowardly man who attack people who they are unaware. And you can try as best as you can. Those people are obviously, they are not fighting him. And if they are fighting him, what about you say, okay, I'm coming. Hiding in the bushes for them until they are unaware, attacking them. And then he raped the women. 
took the children as slaves and killed all the men. All the men were killed. What happened to your reference, Abdul? Give me the reference so we can put it in the screen. All right. This is the reference. Okay, let me call you back and laugh together. <laughs> hmm. Read with me. This is your reference in the front of me. Yes. Hmm. What do you want to read? Go ahead. Tell me which. What do you want to read? Hold on. I gotta go back on YouTube on the other phone. Hmm. I mean, on the other thing. Oh, I couldn't. I could even just read it straight up. Hmm. I want, you, I want you first. I want you the first to confirm to me that you accept Ibn Ishaq. I'm just telling you whatever you accept. My, you my friend, my friend, do you there, accept? Uh, you hold on, hold on. Just show, just to show you how coward you are. Do you accept Ibn Ishaq? You are giving the reference. You are giving me a reference. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Do you accept the story? Do you accept the story? The reference you are giving me. Do you accept it or not? How coward you are? Say yes. I mean, what's wrong with you? Oh, what I'm asking you. The reference why you are would giving I send me. something that why would I send you something that I don't accept? Okay, so why you do so that? you accept the book. Do you accept that. the book? Do you accept the book? Let's read it the same way. No, no, now, I, I want you to yours, say, I want you mine. to say, I want you to say before we start, do you accept the books? Yours, read do you mine. accept That's the books? Do, do you accept the books? Shut up. We can read it. Shut up. And we will read. We will read. Do you accept the books you are sending me? Do you accept say yes? Say say I accept Rawal Betato. First of all, first of all, you did not show me what to read. Secondly, you don't Secondly, you donkey, you did not show me what to read. Secondly, why you say why you don't say I accept all I the books here? <laughs> I am asking you, what, what link? Show me where it says you, you are laughing like a whore. You are laughing like a whore. Where to read? Tell me where is the story. You read, you're gonna read if you want to read. Stop acting read. like read a whore. Read where. Read, read where. Here Muhammad. we go. Read with me. And read with me. What? What do you want you to read? You donkey. You donkey. Where are you? Want me to read? You read it. Go ahead. Hold on. <laughs> and now, okay. in the front of everybody, you have to accept yeah, those okay. books in the front of you. Ibn yeah. Ishaq at Tabari. I said, shut up and let me. Go I ahead. Go ahead. Read. 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 This, that is love. Read. Read. I can, I can and now read. you can. You this, can. You, now you will reject this, what you gave me. You will reject what you gave me. You yourself. You will say I don't accept it. Go ahead. Read. Yeah. Hold on. There is it again. Why you don't start reading? I gotta go back to my screen. Yours is too small. I can't. I, I can zoom in YouTube. Hmm. So I gotta go back to mine so I can zoom it in. Hmm. I can zoom it in yours. Hmm. In YouTube. Hmm. <laughs> yes. That's not a big deal. Just let me go back to my search and then. You, you you don't want to read it. You you can. you read it. You read it. So we laugh. let us laugh. Let us laugh. I can go back to my. Mm. I think how to send your message. How to go back to your message. Thing. Thing I sent you. How am I gonna go back to the link I sent? You? Are you stupid or what? The link is in your phone. Open it and read it. Is it in your phone? Is it you who sent it to me? You do not know how. You don't even know how to open the link you sent me. Hold on. Just hold on, brother. Mm. I am not your brother. Just showing that you're a liar, bro. You are the liar. You are a follow. You are a, you are a guy who you are a guy who follow a man. He says if a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. Obviously, he's a liar. That's not a debate here, okay? Mm. Yeah, but he's a liar. The man who says that the sun set in the murky water is a liar, and you follow him. Yes. Okay. The man who said that the he will give you an endless okay. penis, he is a liar. Now read the for us the story. Or what That's it says here. Or what it says here. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. Let me make it short. Let me make it short. You are a slow, stupid like your prophet. Let us show you short. It says here that he heard that Banil Mustalik, they are gathering, they are gathering. Hold on. Look, let me let, let me read because you are not going to read, it's going to take you forever. The apostle receiving you. The apostle receiving you. Shut up, son of Muta. Shut up. Get lost. You don't want to read it. I give you I wake you for 15 minutes. The prophet receiving news that Banil Mustalaq were gathering together. Where is the reference? Show me the reference. This is the book of Ibn Ishaq. There is nowhere it says the story. 
Secondly, if I receive news that they are gathering, how come they are not gathering? Have you ever heard of people they are gathering to attack and they are watering their animals? This is just a book saying there's no reference of anything. What is the story? The prophet he heard. Where is the story? Hear the story. If people are gathering and they are getting ready for war, you will not find them watering their animals and they have no idea what's going to happen. And we ask the guy, give us the reference. Now, if we go to Ibn Ishaq, we will find tons of stories about your prophet terror. And in the same book of Ibn Ishaq, Muhammad, he says, you, you, Ibn Ishaq, he said that he raped Juria. Do you see here it says? Abu Dirar, the father of Juria, what Muhammad he did to her. Do you want me to show you? He raped her. Do you see it? In that day, in that day, the prophet he got Juria. Let us say, for the sake of argument, Muhammad he have a problem with the father of this girl. You go kill the father and you f the daughter. In the same day, and you coward, you don't want to read it. And after he killed all the men, he divided the children like goats. They never attack him, they never had war with him. And remember here. We are reading only the story side of the terrorist, which means those poor people are dead, they are gone. Muhammad, he demolished them. One side of the story written by the Muslims, transformed by the Muslims, translated by the Muslims. Yes, Abdul. Okay. So, okay. So, out there, they they was plotting. Mm. If, if that's if, a lie, if, that's a lie. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Plotting against Prove them. it. Prove it. Here we go. If they are if they are plotting, they will not be busy watering their their. They, they will be preparing an army, an army. They will not be busy watering their animals. They, what is the army? What is the army? Hold on. What is the army? What is the army? What is the army? They didn't water no animals. Hold they, on. They, they are watering animals. Read it carefully. The story in the front of you. The story in the front of you. Stop lying. And this is Sahih al Bukhari, not Ibn Ishaq, stupid yes. Ibn Ishaq. They Read all me. got freed. Okay. They all got freed. They all got freed. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He killed all the men. What do you mean he got the freed? No, you're a liar. It's, read the story in front of you. Read the story in front of you. Read it. Read it. Yes. Okay, read it. Go ahead. Yes. They're fighting. Mm. He said men were killed and their woman, men mm. were killed. He, 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 they're he fighting, the they're killed. fighting men. men. Were they were they're fighting the men. Hold on, shut up. They're the fighting. Hold on, friend, yeah. hold on. They're fighting men, they were killed. They're fighting men, they're killed. Correct? Yes. Okay. So, so, yeah, so you know, any man, men get killed. Okay, hold on. So any man who tried to defend, they killed him, correct? So who is left? All the men they will they will defend. If, if you are no. a man, if you are a man, are you saying to me then that there's link. there's men they don't defend? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says here that they're fighting men, they were killed, and the women and the children they were captive. Muhammad he freed the men or he freed the captives later. Showed other hadith saying how many people was left was was freed later. Show me, go ahead. Okay, I will. I will. Mm. I will. I will. And, right and why Muhammad he freed them? Do you know why? Yes. Don't move. Mm. Don't say anything. Mm. Let me do it. Mm. Don't stop lying, brother. You are the liar. Muhammad he heard I that said, the uncles. Muhammad he heard that the uncles of the tribe are preparing to attack him for revenge. Is that true? Just <laughs> the coward just, Muhammad, the coward Muhammad, the sheesh kebab. Just mm. please hold on. Mm. Let me send it to you so you can read it. So 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 everybody be everybody knows. Everybody will see, yeah. That's it. 
uh, right here. I will copy that. I will send it to Christian Liar. You are the liar, son of Muta. You prove um, it every day. Where is it at? Hmm. Okay, I gotta hang up to, to be able to send it to okay, you. Okay, send it. Okay, hang up, please. Hmm. Hang up. We don't know how to hang up to. The coward, he killed all the tribes, he killed the, the, the little children, and he took all the women. And then later he heard and he learned that the Arabian tribes, who they are relative to this tribe, they are getting ready to attack him back. Give me, give me the link, give me the link, give me the link. So we'll put it in the stream. No, Abdul. Abdul, give me the link so we'll put it in the screen and we will laugh at you. Don't give me I a text. No, no, give me, the, give, me the link, give me the link. Give me the link. Did you, can you read it first? Give me the link. Give me the link. Give me the link so we can laugh. No, give me the link. Shut up. Give me the link. I will put it in the screen so people will laugh at you. Give me the link. Coward. And I know you will not give the link. Give the link. I'm waiting. Muhammad the filthy to avoid revenge of the tribe who he slaughtered them. He told this woman, okay, you know what? I raped you, yes. I killed your tribe, yes. But what if I marry you and I release the rest of the slaves I took? And that is to avoid the revenge. This is the whole story. The hadith says in front of us that in the same day he got Juria as sex slave and he raped her in the same day and later to avoid the revenge of her family. He said, I'm going to marry your daughter. Give the link, potato. Hmm? You see, as long as he will not give the link, let me show you what he posts for me in Skype. The reason he don't want to give the link because he's ashamed of it. Look, this is his post. Invasion of Benin Mustalik. He's copying from Wakabidia, the donkey. Uh, it says, the family were taken as captive were 200. The, the, sorry, the, the family were taken as captives. 200 camels. 5,000 sheep and a huge quantity of household good swear taken as booty. The household go, uh, 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 goods were sold on auction <laughs> to the higher bidder. <laughs> the guy in the mosque, imagine guys, if the guy in the mosque, he start taking rabbin the wallet of those poor people he killed. Imagine if this Australian guy, he attacked the mosque and he started taking their wallet. And then... Okay, Abdul. Yeah, I can send you the link. Did you see what you sent me? I said, I send you the link. Did you okay, see? You did, did, you read, did, you read, did you read what you sent me? I said... Uh, Abdul, you did, you, did you read what you, you sent me? Did link. you read now what you, you sent me? You what do you want, brother? Abdul, I am you not your brother. You, you, just you, expose, you, you just expose no, your prophet. You just, you just expose did, your... Did, I did, did read I the link, you donkey. Did Shut up. You're a prophet. He stole their goats. And he took their money. And he took 200 families as slaves. Is that correct? This is your link. Do you agree? He took, yes. And then, yes. Okay. Why he took 200 families as slaves? Because they was plotting to attack him. My friend, he killed all the men. Now who is left? No, the no, women, no, the women, the, the women and the children, the, the women will children. Read the end of it. The women and the, the all done. The women and the children, they will kill him.
Put it on the screen. I, uh, I have it in the screen, they Donkey. All got freed. Okay, no, freed because he married her later. Because later he heard that the, the news coming that the, the, the tribe of, of her people they are coming to revenge. So he said, I will marry you and I will free Please. them. Let me ask Prince. you, hold on. Why? So he, why he took them slaves? Why he took 200 family as a slave? He killed all the men. There's no men to fight him no more. Why he took their money? Why he took their sheep? Why he took their camel and why he captured he 200 family according to your side that's a nice my side he, he never killed all the men he killed some no men he killed he killed all the, the men fighting men which that means shut up shut up shut up listen listen they all got released. listen no he, he, it they says the story the story it says he killed the fighting men which mean whoever can fight let me show you let me ask you according to islam if you attack somebody you kill do you kill only those who they are fighting holding sword or you kill anyone who is a male Everybody <coughs> that was fighting against them okay. got killed. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let us, let us, let us, let us, let us, prisoners. let us see. When do you read the end of it? Uh, we, we are reading, we are reading, we are reading. Let me ask you. So, if if you if you're a prophet, if you're a if you're a prophet, attack a tribe. Do he kill only the male who they are holding sword or only or even children? I said, did they all get freed or not? Because he married her later, he made a deal so they will not attack him back. For revenge, read with me carefully. Let me get you busted, Abdul. This is your prophet. He killed all the male. He left only, always he leave male who they are the children's. Very, very, very young. Read with me. Hold on, I'm, I'm doing some research here. Mm. <clears throat> Do you see it? Mm. Mm. Let us laugh. Did your you prophet kill all the male, if including I children's? Yes or no? Where? It's in the front of you. Mm -hmm. Began where they were killed. Oh, you said I was among the captive. Hmm. Um. Well, who who's saying this? You just read it. Later, you will find out. Uh, examined and those who had begun to uh, grow, hmm. happy were killed, hmm. and those who had not were not. Hmm. I was among those who had not grown hair. Hmm. So, what do you learn from what this? Did what did your prophet do when he attacked people? What did he do? He killed them. Okay, he killed who? They would have killed them too, right? No, no, hold on. They ki he killed who? Uh, he killed people that was fighting him. Hold on. They are not fighting. They are now prisoners. No, they get released. Abdul is stupid. Read, 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 read in the front. Released. Hold on. Everybody is laughing at you now. Here, the, you, this, shut up, shut the, up, you donkey you liar. It's in the front of you. This is, this is, this is, hold there, on. Please? First, the link you gave me, I have no reference. This is, the, this is not, this is not the, uh, even no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. We, we have here, we have, it says that anyone he did not grow hair, we killed him. That means, shut up, you liar. I will call you back after I can read because you will not let me talk. Guys, read carefully with me. All the mail. They, they, they are prisoners because there is no way you are going to check their balls and they are fighting you now. Right? They strip all the men. And they start examining all the male, including children. And the one who have a growing hair around his pubic area, they slaughter him. Muhammad, he killed them as a prisoners not as fighters including children's because middle eastern we middle eastern we grow hair very early in the age of seven eight you have hair and this coward he will he will say he freed them he freed he later who the one who survived the children's who they are not to grow in here anyone who grow here muhammad he slaughtered him immediately as a prisoner not as a fighter now, I will call this kid and let us see how he can read this. And you will see he will not read it. <laughs> so, those are prisoners or not? What, what's that? Those are prisoners or they are not? They become, they got all released. Why don't you oh, read the story? Again? Read the story in front of me. The one is killed now in front of us here in this story. 
He killed him I as a pri- shut up, shut up, liar. Don't tell me. I'm asking you. So now he can, okay. So let us let us make it short. He killed he killed all all who grow hair around their private part. Do you agree? 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 Who care? Who care? But he killed he killed thousands. Who care? Now I'm asking you. Okay. So you are saying to me your prophet is a good okay hold on hold on so you are saying to me your prophet he killed thousands of them and he released 200 I said did they get <laughs> and why he really why he released them because he married the women is that correct Is that correct Hello yeah why he released them is that is that Say because what? is that because he married the women He released them why he released them is that because he married the women that. why he released they, them is that they, because he married the women i'm asking you did he release they, the list he, did he oh, so, oh, so let us make it straight marry, according yes. to you you're a prophet is a good you're a prophet is a good guy Joy shut up shut up you prophet. idiot let me talk you can't talk at the same time according to you he married the women after he raped her in the same day he killed all her family you, and then he released some you're not, you're of who left where he said he raped her on the same day. It says in the, okay, no, okay here we go. Christian okay, here we go. Here we go. It's in the front of us. Show read, me. Read it. Show me. Read it. Go ahead. Read it. Silence me. Are you? It's in the front read. of you. What? It's in the front of you. What? It says, Wa asaba yoma idin juriya, and he f yoma idin juriya, and he did f juriya in the same day. Read it. No, so, they fighting. He said, uh, there was fighting mm. man would oh look at look at him <laughs> he moving it he moving it he moving the, the translation Stupid. it's Call in the front of you brother. and he got in the same this is your translation you, you see the coward you see the coward do you speak it arabic i show it to you even in arabic but but you don't know arabic right you don't know arabic right you do not know arabic okay so you're a prophet he if juria did does it say did he say mary juria it's or it says he if juria does it say answer does it say he if juria or he married juria did he marry her on that day in that day he married her Ibn Omar hold him the above narration that's it read 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 he read and the prophet he got juria in that day you are a liar you are a liar abdul and you got busted it says in arabic okay, and he f juria in the same day here we go in the front of your eyes you coward he if her okay, now the same as he did to Sophia the same as he did to many women he if them in the same day and even when he if Sophia he have a guard in his tent do you want to show you the reference too okay now can you now do you want to put <laughs> so now listen no no hold on we will not go anywhere hold on hold on hold on hold on why you want to jump why you want to jump you're a prophet when he attack a tribe what he do he take the prisoners and then he strip them and then he examine their pubic area any person who is growing little hair around his penis he kill him is that correct i'm telling you he killed the man that this was is not the question him. this is not the that question Lord, listen those are not prison do, stop and, and stop released. being a liar those are the prisoners those are the prisoners and even the quran says so do you want to show you through the quran why are, you you are, are you accusing the Quran? Are you accusing the Quran to be lying? The Quran speak about that, you liar. What do you want to say? Why? Hmm? Why don't you put the link out there, please? Let me I have the link. link. I showed the link. Here we go. It says here the prophet is not allowed to take a prisoner because he that should link. kill them. Read it. This is Quran. Judges, hold on. I gotta go back to you on YouTube. Mm. I, I was out. Mm. Judges. Uh, just remember to put Judges 1629 on the read, read, read the chapter 8, verse number 67. It says, It's not allowed for the prophet to take a prisoner until he slaughter. Does it say that? Hold on, mm. I'm going back to you. I gotta go back to your. Mm. Oh, nice and commercials. So why don't you put why don't you take those commercials down? Put it, put it, put it, just read it. Stop lying. Does it say the prophet is not allowed to take a captive? He have to slaughter them. Yes or no? Or this is a weak Quran? Uh, uh, what, what verse is that? Uh, I don't care. I, I'm not going to tell you. I thought you know the Quran. I thought you are a person who is going to call me and to school me. And now you are being screwed. 
You're uh, pulling, a, you're pulling so a are you telling me? Are words, you telling me? Are you that? are you telling me, Abdul, that you are a person who called a Christian prince to get him busted, but you do not know about this verse in your Quran? Oh, I, I know my Quran, but I don't know the verse. Numbers. But you never heard of it. Are, are you? Are, 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 this is what you are saying to me. I don't know in where it is. Number, it, have please, you ever heard please. of this verse before? Have you ever heard All of this verse? Have you ever heard of this verse before? Yes. Okay. So how come you do not know where it is? There is there is six thousand plus. I don't care. Okay. So now as long you know where it is, as long as long you know it, I don't care where it is. Now you answer me. I will tell you later where it is. Now answer me. What you you were lying to me, saying to me, oh the prophet he don't kill prisoners. You were lying, saying the prophet don't kill prisoners. You liar. Everybody heard you. The Quran, this is Quran don't, saying it is not it is, for a prophet to take a prisoners. Power. You coward. You are the coward. <laughs> Did Muhammad kill the prisoners? Yes or no? I said, give me the first number. I am giving you the first number. It's verse number 67, you donkey. It's in the front of you. Yeah. Wh what chapter? I will not tell you. It's a secret for later because I'm get you, going to get you busted more. Ah, ah secret for later. Yeah, okay, secret for later. This is your Quran. This is your, just shut up, shut up. You but, know, but, let, let, my, let, me, let me read, let me read, and, and I will call you after two minutes. Guys, look at this donkey. He is saying that the prophet don't kill the prisoners. Proven to us, not only he is a liar, he is an ignorant. He do not know. He never heard this of this before. I assure you, he never heard of this verse before. Okay, surah 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 number eight. Surah okay. Anfal, you, so you search in Google, you search in Google, and you found four. it. You search in Google, and you found it. Thanks to uh, thanks to no, Google. Okay, Google, now, I got my okay. Quran here. All right. Okay, so now you, you got, got your Quran there, right? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I got my book of Quran. Okay. Hello, Google. I couldn't be in there. That's why I pulled. My, I, I I took my Quran out. Mm. Okay. So why? Yes. So why you no, lie to me? Google. Why you lie to me? You say is that the prophet don't take no don't kill the prisoners. No prophet shall acquire captive unless he participate in a fight. This is what it says. If you do not participate in a fight, you uh -huh. cannot be taken as okay. captive. Do you want me to show you the, the interpretation? Listen, and hold on, everybody, everybody, hold on, second, hey, hold on, potato, 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 potato. What interpretation? What this interpretation? Is interpretation? Shut up, no son of Muta. Shut up. What? Shut up. I will call you back. What interpretation you like me to show you so I can get you busted? Choose one. I will call you back now. <laughs> What Why are you lying, bro? Let, hold on. Everybody will see who's lying. What interpretation you like me to show you about this verse? I said, I am reading don't, here. Don't tell me I am saying you are a donkey. You do not know how to read. Tell me the interpretation and the interpretation okay. will get you busted. What interpretation do you want? Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa is not a Muslim, you idiot. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, now you're going to judge who is Muslim and who, and who is not? Rash yes, he's not a Muslim. That's why the Muslims killed him. Abdul, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you, are you, are you, a, follow, are you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? Are you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? Hold on, hold on. Are you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? I said, put it out there. I am asking you, are you a follower of Rashad Khalifa? That's not your he problem. He claimed that he you is a prophet. He claimed that he is a man. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, son of donkey. By the way, give me the give me the Rashad Khalifa. This guy, he is a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Rashad Khalifa was killed in Arizona just a few years ago. Let us laugh together. Listen, Abdul. Do you do you follow Rashad Khalifa? Do you follow Rashad Khalifa? Say yes, say yes. Okay, do you accept Rashad Khalifa? Oh, what I'm asking you, do you accept Rashad Khalifa? I'm asking you is to put it on I am screen. asking you, you yes. put it, you put it. I don't have I, I, I you hold on but take potato, son of Mutai. Why you don't give it to me? I will put it in the screen. Okay. And I am asking you now, do you accept Rashad Khalifa? Hang up. I, do you, I, I give it don't don't no, don't be go before you go. Do you accept Rashad Khalifa? Yes or no? I said hang up, I give it to no, you. No, no, before you That's give it, it to me, before you give it to me, I want to be sure you say I accept Rashad Khalifa. <laughs> Actually, now he got himself or even more busted. <laughs> you see, they, they are like monkeys from place to place to place to place. We get him busted in the hadith. Now he want to jump and then we get him busted in the Quran. And now he want to show me interpretation of a guy. His name is Rashad Khalifa. And you will see now soon why he will regret mentioning Khalifa. And he will say, no, I don't accept Khalifa no more. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Rashad Khalifa, brother, Rashad Khalifa.
I hope I will not lose my voice from screaming. <laughs> I mean, this is fun. This is really, really fun. Rajat Khalifa, huh? I will make you be sorry. Yeah. Do you know why he chose Rajat Khalifa? <laughs> Rashad Khalifa, brother. Rashad Khalifa is my messenger. I am not a Muslim no more. I am a follower of Rashad Khalifa. Yeah, let us see. I'm waiting for you, Abdul. What happened? Coward. <clears throat> Cowardly people. Oh boy. Let us go and see some interpretation to get this Abdul busted. Sorry, my, my mic is making a noise. I apologize. I'm trying to fix it. Uh -oh. The chain of line, you know the chain of line? Islam is a chain of line. All the point is to make their prophet not a terrorist. We showed him how he killed the children, how he killed all male, including prisoners. He did not take them really as captives. He the captives only the one who stayed as a children. And later he free after he married the women to avoid an attack as revenge. Yes, Abdul. Yeah, yeah, put a link out there. Okay. Let me read it. Be before we read, I want to ask you, please. Do you accept Rashad Khalifa? Say I, yes. You don't have to ask me shit. No, no, no. I will you ask you shit. I will ask you shit. We are talking about shit. Before I, 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 before I, before I, I show it, chapter, why you don't say, I don't, uh, why you don't say, it. okay, why you don't Stop say, lying. I accept Rashad Khalifa? Do you say yes. I am a, whether I'm Ahmadi, I'm a Shia, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care who you are. I am asking. No, you are not a Muslim. 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 A Muslim. If you are a Muslim, okay. As, as long as you are a Muslim, as long as you are a Muslim, shut up, you donkey. We cannot talk in the same time. I am asking you: Do you accept Rashad Khalifa? Yes or no? Do you accept Rashad Khalifa teaching? Do you accept Rashad Khalifa teaching? You donkey. When you show me Rashad Khalifa, that's mean you accept. Rashad. Shut up, you donkey, son of Muta. You are a coward. He will not say. Do you know why? Because Rashad Khalifa, he claimed that he is the messenger. Of Allah and not only that Rashad Khalifa he took verses from the Quran to prove that the Quran is corrupt the Quran we have today this is why this coward he will not say I accept Rashad Khalifa now here this is the chapter you gave me and everybody will love interpretation of Rashad Khalifa Call me and tell me I accept Rashad Khalifa. Yes, Abdul. Hello. CP. Yes, Abdul. How are you doing? I'm fine. Let me plug my headphones in. Give me one second. Can you hear me? Hmm. I hear you. 
Now, okay. what do you think about this guy? He said he sent Emir Shad Khalifa. I don't know about that. All right. So no, no, don't tell. No, let us not to jump. To her, hey, come on. I answer me. Be honest. Why I don't know? I mean, suddenly you do not know. You must have you do not know. I'm asking you. What do you think about Rashad Khalifa? And by the way, the idiot he sent me a uh, send me translation of Rashad Khalifa, not interpretation for the verse. What does he say? What's uh, Rashad Khalifa about, about chapter Rashad eight, verse number sixty-seven? <laughs> what do what you, you say about say that about verse? It? What What do you think about Rashad Khalifa first? Is he a Muslim? See, Is he a Muslim? Um, I don't know about his specific interpretation of that verse. He didn't. He don't have interpretation. <clears throat> this guy, he's an idiot. He just made translation. This is okay, not the let's question. go back to the verse. Then. Okay, I'm asking question. you now. What do you think about Rashad Khalifa? I don't know. <clears throat> if you don't know, I will hang up on you. You are being uh, no. Don't hang up. Now. Come on, let's talk about the verse. Okay, so don't don't tell me I do not know. What do you think are about you Rashad Khalifa? What do you think about Rashad Why Khalifa? You, let's talk about the verse. Come on. Let's okay, no problem. We, we are talking about Rashad Khalifa first. We have his no, Quran. No, come on. Why do you, do you talk accept about the Rashad? Do you topic, accept? Man. Why Muslim? They just, they brought for me Rashad Khalifa. Now they don't want to talk about Rashad no, Khalifa. Let's talk about the Prophet Muhammad. I, we are talking Muhammad. about Muhammad in the same time. Do you accept Rashad Khalifa? Either you say yes or you say no. I don't accept. No, him. I don't. I don't. You, you I don't. don't. Why don't? Okay. Why you don't? Because I only accept authentic. Um, why he's not authentic? Why he's not authentic? Because there was um, there's um, some people who accept him and some people don't. But okay, is he a Muslim for you? Um, he claimed to be a messenger of Allah. That's between him and Allah. No, he he's claimed to be a messenger of Allah. Is no, he a Muslim? No, no, no. I don't accept that. No, no. Okay, so he is a false Muslim, correct? Um, I can't say I'm not Allah subhanahu wa taala. Okay, you are not Allah subhanahu wa taala. Okay, so your your brother he is trying to fool us, saying Rashad Khalifa. Now we go to the verse, no problem. Okay, the so verse in the front of us, chapter eight, verse number sixty-seven. What do you say about it? All right, let me. Uh, I'm going over to YouTube. Um, so you see, your your brother was lying to us, trying to avoid answering okay, the question. Okay, so it is not for any prophet to have captives until he has made slaughter in the land. Hmm. He desired the lure of his world, and Allah desires for you the hereafter. Hmm. Okay. What is this verse about? So that means that you cannot just go and take captives unless that there was a war or there was a battle that had some meaning. So you this can't is according to the town and take captives. This is according to who interpretation? We'll look at the verse. I'm verse asking you, you, is that according? Okay, I will give you three options. You tell me, you, you, I will give you three options. Is that according to the grocery gross store guy or falafel store guy or Ibn Kathir or Al Qurtubi no, look, or Al Tabari? Look, it is not for any prophet. Okay, my friend, don't tell me you, suddenly you became an expert. I'm asking you, this is according to who the meaning you give me. No, I'm not giving you me. I'm just okay. reading the verse. So, no, you, you are not reading the verse because it doesn't say what you are saying. It says it's not for any prophet to have captives unless he has made a slaughter. So, yeah. you have to make a slaughter, not go to fight. You have to slaughter. Right. Do you see the word slaughter? Yes. Okay. So, you have to slaughter, not to take captives. What the verse is saying. Why would they slaughter? <clears throat> because he don't want to have captives. He want to slaughter them. This is what the verse no, saying. No, no, no. After, okay, after, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. My like, friend, my friend. Looking, let, um, let, us, like let, us, let us, let us, not waste our, let us not to waste our time. Let us not to waste our time and your time. No, no, no. Look, Numbers thirty-one. Don't tell me, look, look. Don't tell me, look, look. Don't tell me, look, 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 look. This is Why? this is a jalalain. Do you accept? Do you accept a jalalain? Do you accept a jalalain? It's the same thing in the Bible. Do you accept a jalalain? You're gonna hang up. Do you accept a jalalain? Give me any any interpretation. Do you accept the Jalal line? Okay, it's in the front yeah. of you. Hmm. I had to close YouTube because it skips forward. I can't hear. You know, hmm. it skips. So you read it. Read it. No, I do not know how to read. I'm illiterate. You read it. Go ahead. I can't. <laughs> hold on. I mean, it skips forward when I'm on YouTube. I can't hear the voice play of each other. Hmm. But look, you're so worried about um, Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam killing when you see in the Bible the same thing. You just don't you don't understand the context. Hmm. You're saying, "Oh, Jesus came as peace when he said, I come to bring the sword." Hmm. And did Jesus kill anyone by the sword he's talking about? Did he have a sword? He oh, look, people with look, it. You got to understand, Jesus alayhi salam was hmm. a great prophet and he came for what? It's not a question. Years did Jesus kill anyone? This is not the question. Look at Moses, though. This is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. Did Jesus kill anyone? From all 12 this is not the question. 12, Change the topic. Okay, you are changing the, the topic. Though? Did Jesus kill any? Did Muhammad Jesus Muhammad killed Muhammad. anyone? Did Jesus? You no, mentioned to me. No, you, okay, so you mentioned to me a verse about the sword. You are lying to us. This okay, is not about Jesus the sword. Moses, didn't he? Moses okay, hold on. Let me ask you about Moses. Isn't it Allah? He ordered Moses in the Quran to slaughter the Palestinians. 
Uh, yeah. What okay, did, why? What did Moses do? Why? Well, I don't know. Why did he do it in the Bible? Okay. Why did he lead 12,000 in the no. Bible? Why did he kill No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The Bible has a story. You see, open. the funny about the your Quran, the funny about your Quran, why? okay, the funny the, about your Quran, there's no story in the story. Suddenly, we hear that Allah, he said to Musa, go and take the land I assigned to you. Yeah. Okay, does it say the same in, in the Bible that I assigned the land, just kill the people just to take it? Yes, it does. Okay, go we'll read Numbers no, thirty-one. We'll okay, read, it. read the verse. Pull and let it up. Okay, read the verse. Read the verse, and let us read together. Go ahead, yeah. and I will show you the verse in the Quran. Hold on. Behind one second. Bad. <clears throat> Hmm. Give me the verse you are talking about, please. Uh, numbers 31. Hmm. <clears throat> I think it's. Uh, are you pulling it up? Okay. You tell me. Did you pull it up? No, you tell me where. I don't know. You tell me. I'm learning from you. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Right here. Okay, numbers thirty-one. Mm. Pull read, up the numbers. Read verse 31. number one. Read Go. Verse number one. You want me to read it to you? Yeah. Read verse number one. The Lord said to Moses, "Take vengeance on the Midianites for the Israelites. After that, you'll be gathered to your people." Mm. Because so of what said, they did. Because of what they did. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. So, the, so, so they are know, attacking you know? them first. Hold on. You see. You see here the line. You see here the line. In the Quran, the I story. Didn't even say anything. The, okay, the Quran, the Quran is a different story. So don't okay, let's him. read what happened. No, no, let's no. You said you said it's the same. You said it's the same. It's not the same. Go to verse number seven. Okay, yes, hold on, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. Because of okay. what they did to the Israeli, what they did to the Israeli. Okay, good. They uh they were mean. What? No, they are they are mean only. <laughs> Moses, <laughs> okay. Moses so, didn't turn. My friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so seven. let us make it straight. Moses is a person who came and he told them that God told me eye for an eye. Is that true? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now Muhammad is attacking people who did not attack him. Is that true? Mm, I would say that's not true. Mm. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay. When you're a prophet, he sent a letter. Okay. To the can we finish the, the verse? Hold first on. Hold on. We'll yeah. Yeah. It. Okay. We. On, you see. First jump. of all. First of all. Why we are jumping here and there all over? Why no, we don't? Not. You're jumping why, now. Why you don't want seven, to read? Okay. Why you don't want to read the interpretation? Read the interpretation. The verse we are I talking will, about. One second. You Hold call on, me. You now. call me. You call me to read the interpretation, and you are refusing. Why? Come on. I'm not. I'm not refusing. Okay. Read it. This is Tafsir Jalali. This is Tafsir Jalali in front of us. Go ahead. Okay. Hold on. Minute behind now. I was on Google. Okay. <laughs> Following was revealed when they ransomed those taken captive. Father, it is not for any prophet to have. Is it until he has made slaughter in the land, fighting disbelievers? You, you desire to change things. Okay. So both of you, you and the well, one who God called before you, hold on. Let after. me make my comment. Yeah. So both of you, the one who called before you and you, you were lying to us about the mean. How did I lie? What did I say? Because you said it's not for a prophet to take captives until he go in a fight. But this is what the verse is saying. The verse is saying that you should not accept them to be captives. You have to slaughter them. You should not take them a captive and later Wait, you exchange the them for ransom. You set them free. What's set them free here? It says he refused to send them free. People, they are asking. Afterward. We can, we can, we can. Listen, 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 ransom. listen, listen, listen. It's in front of you. People, okay, they say, I'm okay, ready. we can ask for ransom. The Muslim, they said to Muhammad, we can ask for ransom for those captives. Muhammad, he said, no, we kill them. And he gave a no, verse said, to himself from Allah. Said, and set them free afterward, either by what grace. He free, where he freed them, where it says, read, my friend, read, read with me carefully. Yeah. It says here this is abrogated later abrogated because Muhammad when he need money he when he need money he don't slaughter and he, when he do not need money no 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 he needs to spread the word of no 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 He's no he say, it says no hold on and he freed them afterward with the grace or by ransom do you see it yeah okay so you're a prophet is the same as isis he asked for ransom when he need no, money no, by when, grace uh, okay hold by on ISIS hold on okay yeah by grace because if they convert to islam 
Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So you're a prophet. But the Lord wants to be worshipped. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So, so, no. but, but the verse, the verse in the front of us says, did you a prophet says that Allah ordered him to kill all the captives? Yes or no? Um, in this particular situation, hold on. Not everyone, because they had the captives. Look, some some were <laughs> set friend, free by grace. They killed the captives. Look. This is what it says. He don't want to take a, the Muslim. They are saying we can make money from this. Muhammad, he said to them, he, and Muhammad always he used Allah as a puppet when he wants something to happen no. to, to silence them. This is what happened. So the Muslims they used to captive to 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 capture people and then release them for ransom. It's a great great business. So now Muhammad he is afraid if he release them now and he do not need yeah. money. Why why am I why I'm going to free them? Those are my enemy. Let me kill them all. So he killed them all. Where does it say he killed them all? It says no, it's not allowed for a prophet to release for the sake of ransom. He have to make a slaughter. Read carefully with me. I don't know. It's not allowed for him to take captives. <laughs> What does that mean? It means they are captive, but we cannot. It means, it means we cannot give them as captives. We cannot give them as captive. We cannot. No, it's they are captive already. It says the following was revealed. Mean? Read, my friend. Read when when they ransomed those taking captive. Do you see they are already captive? So when they ransomed those who they are taking captive, a better. It is not for any prophet to have. To, 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 to take ransom until he slaughter it's uh, it's not time for ransom now now it's time to slaughter only so we slaughter them all so then who did he set free then this is the later different different fight different time what do you mean they are the saying same, later this, this verse is abrogated this is abrogated the verse abrogated by time maybe a few years after <laughs> Abrogated. What do you mean? What do you My mean? Friend, it, it says, it says hold so on. Free. It says the Almighty God abrogated by his words, and he set them free either by grace or ransom. And he said to you, 474, question seven. So, quotation 474. So, he got money. So, later, so oh, my friend, later there's verses came because Muhammad, he changed his religion, depend in the yeah. situation. And he claimed always that Allah, he changed rules, right? Mm -hmm. So now it says it clearly. What about we show you Ibn Abbas? I mean, why Muslims are going in denial? It's not, not for any prophet, yet. not a proper for any prophet to have captive. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. From among the disbelievers until he has made the slaughters. So until he conquered the land. So conquering the land is have to happen by slaughter, not by taking captive. Yeah, look, until he conquers in a land by means of fighting. Read. Okay. And then it says, so, and you desire, fighting, you desire, means, look, look, you desire to lure so for this world by taking fight. ransom one from a prisoners. Another. Okay. They, this is what the Muslim desire, the desire to take ransom. Muhammad, don't okay, agree. Hold, okay, can I ask you something? Am Go I ahead. wrong? Mm. Okay. It says here, until he conquers in a land by means of fighting. So when you fight, it's one against someone else. It means someone's fighting you, you fight someone. So until that happens, you can't take any captives. Meaning, I can't just go somewhere in a town that's innocent and go take innocent captives. That's a lie, my friend. Someone's gonna fight me. That's my friend. That that's my friend. That's my that's my friend. That's a lie. They are already captive. Okay, they so are already captive, my friend. Why you don't read? Are you blind? It says that clearly. I'm, okay. It is I'm not the proper. It's not the proper for a prophet, for a prophet to have captives from among the disbelievers. Until he yes. had made later, until he conquer in the land by the means fighting. You desire to lure in the Lord by taking a ransom for the prisoners of better. They are the prisoners of better. This, this is about specifically about the prisoners who already they are the prisoners. They are prisoners of what? Of the battle of better. Muhammad saying to them, We are not going to accept them to be captives. We have to slaughter them. You want ransom? I don't want ransom. And he gave them this verse. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
think that you're misinterpreting the beginning a little bit <clears throat> my friend this is your interpretation and now i am misinterpreting the interpretation no, it says, I think that you're it not says my friend it. it says it says they are a prisoners of better does it say the word prisoners of better they are prisoners already by taking ransoms yeah hmm. they are prisoners already let me ask you after your prophet he look you desire the okay let, this let us prove something let us prove something brother did your prophet there, there is any story clearly saying that the prophet he killed his prisoners is there a story of that hmm. <laughs> pull up pull up no no i'm asking Just you i'm up. asking if there's any stories like to make it more clear for you if there's any story says your prophet he killed his prisoners um it wouldn't be anything that was um worse or in greater magnitude than the Bible, mm. because uh, Prophet Muhammad Islam was the same prophet, the same God. Oof, oof, so oof, it wouldn't oof, be anything. Yeah, the worse. same prophet, the same God who kisses stones, right? Now let us read together. No, if this is that's like saying hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that your prophet or this is my prophet? You know? Is that is that your prophet? Read carefully. Hold on, hold on. It's loading. One second. Killed except one. She was back and belly extremely. I did a new act. So she was the only one that was killed. This is another question. No, I'm asking. You know, I don't. I'm know. asking you. Are they prisoners? And he was slaughtering them. Uh, she she was killed. This is another question. I'm not talking about Muhammad her now. I'm not talking. Not I'm not even talking about her. Was he slaughtering? I'm his, too, man. Was he slaughtering okay. the prisoners by one by one? Um, everyone else besides the women, yeah, because that was um, okay. So they are the prisoners, and they, he he was slaughtering them one by one. And uh, this poor woman, she was watching her tribe being slaughtered, and she went to crazy. Why you're a prophet? He slaughters the prisoners. You just said to me that it is not a true the prophet he slaughtered prisoners. <laughs> um well um what what time was this revealed wrong? I don't what, care. What this is not come on, come on, let, 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 let's no, be honest. Because, you see, I'm I'm, because, I'm, I'm look, trying to go, find look, I'm trying to find go, an honest Muslim when you speak to me. Find the same thing. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me like, understand, don't tell me understand. They are prisoners of war. If you look in the Bible, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, no, you okay, you can show me from the Bible as much as you wish. Show me where the prisoners. No, you don't let me. No, no, I you know you you asked me to read number. I showed you that you are wrong in number it says go to them finish reading it to you no, it says it says right we, okay it says do to them as they did to you the, okay the, the, but let me hold read on it, hold on read it? the jews I the jews right the, in the first hey, verse guys, it says guys, that you in, the, it. in the first verse it says that because my you'll friend. never find quran yeah. you'll never find anything hold like this on the don't change you are you Nothing. know all what never. i'm saying you are trying to change the topic this I'm is not. the whole I'm telling yes you the same thing this is the no it's not the same no it's not the same thing it is You'll not never find this, my friend. Okay, then I, I'll read this and you pull up a verse from the prophet Muhammad. My Muhammad. friend, like hold this. on. Why? Let me read this and then you pull me a verse. Off. You can read as wrong. many as you wish. Okay, then let no, me read it now. Stop, right stop playing first. games. First of all, why no, you would lie to me? Why you would lie to me? Saying to me, it doesn't it. say. It let doesn't say. Right no, you are the one getting busted. Okay, why let me it say? Why? Why? It? Why? Why you said he did not kill the prisoners? Why did like us? He did kill prisoners, just as Prophet okay. Muhammad no, did, so now he did. Situation. So now, okay. You so now he agree he did. Okay. Why he killed work. this woman? Why he killed this woman? He killed one woman. One why woman. he killed? Why he killed her? I don't know. Let's for, read. For she is here. laughing. They fought against me. So a according to Islam, Moses. if somebody is laughing, you kill him. If she is a woman. No, that's not what happened. So this what happened? Read it. No, it's but that's not it's not how you're taking it. You, you tell me how you're it making is. it seem like no, oh, you tell me. No, you tell me, laughing, tell me, tell me. Okay, you tell that's me what happened. happened. You tell me what happened. Um okay, let me go back to that one second.
And I got this verse in front of me. You're going to let me read it after or no? You can read as many as you wish. I know I can't. You won't let me. <laughs> okay. Well, my friend, why you don't want to tell me why he okay, killed? Okay, okay, okay. So first of all, we read no woman was killed. Mm. Okay. So no woman besides this one. Mm. Let's read why she was killed. <clears throat> she was laughing. Mm. Right? She was talking and laughing. She was laughing while her people were being killed. And you're acting like she was in terror. What was she laughing about? Because her family are being killed. She went She's mad. laughing. It's funny. It, she, she went mad, obviously. She is in drama. Or was she, she is, crazy? Was she, she a crazy no, woman? Okay, so, so you are you saying know? to me, if somebody is a crazy, you, if a woman, she is a crazy, this is the mercy of the prophet, he killed her because she's a crazy now. Well, I don't know what was happening, but she I was am laughing, asking you, my so friend. she clearly didn't care about what was happening. No, 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 no. You see, you are trying to avoid. I'm not avoiding. Uh, okay, so why he I'm killed her? I'm asking you why right he there. killed her. Why he killed her? What she okay, did. Okay, okay. A man called her name. Where is so-and-so? She said. I did a new act. What is that supposed to mean? She said. The man took her and beheaded her. Who's beheading her here? A Muslim. One of the companions of Muhammad, the holy prophet Muhammad and his holy companions. <laughs> I did a new act. Um, yeah, he beheaded her, but I don't know what. I did a new act. I'm stuck there. Mm. What does that mean? She's going. Uh, you, she, she, you know, imagine, what, I did a new imagine, act. imagine, my friend, somebody. imagine, imagine. God forbid, somebody is killing all your family in front of your sister. Isn't she going to go crazy? My family are not like those people, though. Oh, you our family are honorable people. Well, I'm just saying this. They're not like those people. Why they're they are like not? The why they are not? Uh, they are not a human. So your family are a human. No, those are I'm not saying that those people are not so human. So what, what do you mean? So what do you mean? She is a Jewish woman. She worship God. No, what? she wasn't Jewish. Those are Jewish. Don't you see? It says Bani Quraiza. Yeah. Okay. Bani Quraiza are not Jewish now. Since when? Okay. Well, this one woman. Um, whatever happened with her, she was killed. Okay, okay. based, based on this, they killed one woman there. Based on Islam, you're me, you're okay, based on Islam, me should, Muhammad, they were should Muhammad look, be killed look. for this crime? For Muhammad should be killed for this crime? No. Why? Okay, let me. Okay, let's go back to this verse. This is why. Okay, hmm. look. Hmm. These are the same type of things that were happening in the Bible. Look, don't they fought against don't Midian topic. Don't the topic. as the Lord don't commanded topic. Moses. No problem, no problem. The listen, same, listen, the same listen, as listen. they did to them. They did to them. No and, okay, and here, killed every but man. here, but here, Ibn, Ibn, Ibn Khurayza, they did not take any slave women from the Muslims. Okay, okay. Look. They did not rape any slave and women among from them the Muslims. Were the five Hold on, kings don't change the topic. Don't change the topic now. Of Midian, you're a prophet. He killed the women who the, she is laughing. Should your prophet be killed according to the Sharia law? No. Okay, isn't it you Muslims who says to us that the Quran says that if a man he killed an innocent person, he should be killed? She, she was she was an innocent. No, it's really why she is not innocent now. Why she is she not? Wasn't why she is not? Because the prop because she was killed. That's why. Why she is not and innocent? The Muslims don't kill because the Muslims don't kill innocent people, and she ah, was killed, so she wasn't innocent. Here we go. But you don't so, believe. But, but you don't believe it. Hold on, so hold, on hold on, Bible. hold on, so, hold on. So, so you are saying to me, if somebody don't believe in Muhammad, he is not innocent, and we should slaughter him. What is it? No, you no, just no, say it. You just say it. Saying that that woman that was killed, okay. she was not innocent. Why she's not innocent? I'm asking you. Because why she's she not. did a new act. That's what she said. She the new act. She laugh. Huh? The new act. She laugh. <laughs> no, that's not what it means. No. Let's go. Come on, let's go. No, I'm on, doing. Let it. Listen, it listen, right listen. No, no, you are trying to. Why you, not, you, you trying, said I can read I it. answer you about the Bible. You are trying just to escape. You but are no, just. I'm you are desperate. No, 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 no. You are no, there, no, no, you trying to escape. It. You are trying to escape. Okay, it's so you want to. Okay, hold on, hold on. You are saying to me. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do you believe in the Bible or in the Quran? Of course, I believe in the Bible, but I don't believe in the man-made parts of the Bible. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. Some, I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Be honest with me. Either you say I yeah. believe in the whole Bible, or you say I don't. Either the Bible is not accepted or accepted. Do you do you accept the no, Bible? That's not true. That's not true. There's some parts in the Bible where you can clearly see that How, it came from the Lord. Okay, hold on, hold on. Who is the who is you to decide which is the part which is not? Well, 
like you Christians say, you have the Holy Spirit. Which one? You have, have you, the one do you true have God the Holy Spirit? You have the Holy Spirit? So, you have the Holy Spirit? I have so, the one true God that guides okay, me. Okay, so how Muhammad did not recognize the satanic verses, then you look like you are better than your prophet. Well, Muhammad here received satanic verses. saying that those satanic verses hold never on. happened, and that was a later invention. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said to me, you're going to give me You just said to me, you just said to me, you see, hold on. You just said to me you can recognize what is true in the Bible, what is not. Yeah, but you have no proof that that even happened because there's there's strong evidence that that was a later invention. What that do you that mean? Never even happened. What do you mean it happened? What does not happen? The those verses. I know what you're talking so about. You, so, the so, the, so the Quran is lying. So the Quran lying. Huh? So the Quran is lying. No, it's not. How come the Quran saying Allah will delete what Shaitan he throw? If Shaitan he throw nothing, Allah will delete what? Wait, wait, say it. what? Allah said, Oh, he, what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I thought you, you said to me that this is nothing, the satanic verses never happened. So, Allah will, uh, Allah will delete something never happened. Put up on the screen, it's in the screen. Okay, hold on, I'm going to it now. I'm behind. I'm at the, I was on Google. I'm sorry. <coughs> hold on. Um, <clears throat> Okay, hmm. never sent me a messenger or a prophet before thee, but when he recited the message, Satan proposed opposition in respect of that which recited thereof. So, do you know what that means? No, I do not so, know. You tell me. So, one never one sent me uh, a messenger. So, uh -huh. never has God sent a messenger mm -hmm. or a prophet mm -hmm. before thee, mm -hmm. but when he recited the message, mm -hmm. so when he recited the message of God, mm -hmm. Satan proposed opposition, mm -hmm. meaning right after the message came. Satan came and he tempted mm. and he tempted mm. what he tempted. What does that mean? Explain to me That means he came and he tried to give opposition and he tried to turn him away What is like mean? how you see um, like how why did Jesus go out into the desert? Okay, this because is a, okay. Tempted. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. okay. Well, it's the same okay. Thing. Let, let, same us, thing. let us laugh together. No when Jesus went to the desert or he did not actually go to the desert. This is funny There's no desert when Jesus he did fasting right Shaitan he tried to tempt him, but he yeah. failed here. He was successful yeah, because shaitan Allah saying I will take what shaitan did correct. I will take it from where I will take it from the Quran No, he abolishes that with abolish it from where abolish it from where abolish it Abolish it from where From his temptation so like every time that's not true. Time, uh, that's not true. Okay explain to me what happened exactly the temptation You are I talking am. about tell I'm me the story right now. Hold tell on me the story Okay, this is the story. I'll give you an example. Mm. Okay. Um, okay, just like, um, mm. okay, look at um, the golden calf. Look at the, the story of the golden calf. Mm. So they the people made the golden calf. Mm. And uh, <coughs> uh, was that around the time, uh, was that the Ten Commandments or was that Abraham? I'm sorry. Mm. Um, is look what it's trying to say is every time that there's a message that comes mm. Satan comes and he tries to skewer that message. He tries did, to mess did, it up He tried only or he would really creator, or he, he would really it. did he really put huh? or he tried only Huh? Did he was he successful to put in the mouth of Muhammad? No, did of Muhammad course speak? not. Of course not. Okay, read with me. This is Tafsir al line, please. Okay, hold on. Yeah <laughs> Okay Okay, mm -hmm. I'm reading now. Tell me to scroll down when you are, you know, like when you want me to scroll down for you. Okay, is the whole uh, writing showing or not all? Uh, yeah, it is until uh, subsequently. At the okay, process, now it's so I'll let you know. I fix it. Go ahead. Let me come in. Can I read loud, please? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. This is a prophet who has been, oh, I'm sorry. And we did not send before you any messenger. This is a prophet who has been commanded to deliver a message. One who has not been commanded to deliver anything, but that when he recited the scripture, Satan cast into his recitation what is not from the Quran, but which those to whom he, the prophet, had, had been sent would find pleasing. The prophet had during an assembly of the men of the Quraysh 
after reciting the following verses from Sir Al Najm, have you considered Allah was a manat? The third one <clears throat> had as a result of Satan casting them into his tongue without his the prophets being aware of it. The flying words, those are the high flying cranes. Okay, indeed, their intercession is to be hoped for. So they, the men of the Quraysh, were thereby delighted. Our later informed him of the prophets of this that Satan cast onto his tongue, and he was grieved by it. Okay, uh, what is this from? This is a Jalalain. So, Shaitan, he cast on the tongue of your prophet, he cast, and he cast, yeah. sat he cast satanic verses. And then Jibreel, he said to him, he came to him to after Jibreel, however, later informed him the prophet of that Satan had cast into his tongue and he was given, aggrieved by it. Do you see it? So you, you said to me, he tried um, the to verses, tempt. What's that? Uh, you, you said to me, you said to me, to 20. Uh, what is that there? What? 50, right there, right after it says. Al Utsa and Manat, the third one. Yes, it, it says 53 19 to 20. What's that from? This is different. The, the chapter of a Najm. So your prophet was reciting chapter. Can you of go to it? No problem, but let us stay here first. You no, know, let's the go chat, to that. chapter of a Najm. You can go that have nothing to do with this because supposedly this is taken from there. He's reciting to you that he was reciting a Najm when this happened in this verse. That's all. There's no point of reading that verse. I mean, he just actually he did read it for you. It says while he was reading that do you know do you consider the lat and al manat and the uzza and the manat the third then this is chapter 53 verse 19 and 20 he added as a result of shaitan casting them into his tongue without the prophet being aware of the following words so he muhammad he said that by his tongue those are the high flying crans of al gharaniq Al-Ula, they are the high goddess, <laughs> and the indeed their intercession is hoped for. So your prophet in this moment he worshipped the three daughters of Allah and he ordered his followers, including the whoever watching, that it's a must to ask them to intercede to Allah because they are his daughters. You said to me, Oh, they you know that he tried this is temptation, he tried to give me an example, but this is not what scroll down a little bit. Hmm. And, uh, scroll down so I can read more. <coughs> uh, okay. And by the way, just to show you how the Muslim they lie, I'm not talking about you now. It, it, the Ibn Kathir in Arabic is totally different from Ibn Kathir in English. They took the whole story off. If I show you right now Ibn Kathir in Arabic for the same story, you will see how the Muslims in the translation into English they deleted the whole story. It's not there. So now, what do you say, my friend? Did your prophet receive satanic verses and he did not notice? Uh, what is this? Um, what is this? Um, can you go up to the top? Not the, don't go down, so I can read more. Go up to the top. Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, this is Tafsir Jalalain. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan, and not my website. Here, if you go down, it says this is a translation of Ham uh, Far uh, uh, Faraz Hamza Tafsir Jalalain by the Royal of Ahl al Bayt Institute, which means that the family of Muhammad Institute of the Islamic Thought Amman Jordan. All right. This is okay. an official Islamic <clears throat> government website. Now, as you see here, your prophet receives satanic verses. And now here, we want to ask you a question. As long as we, we, we came to the conclusion that this is really what happened. How we can trust Muhammad that he is not a satanic prophet? Well, see, you're showing me this here. I got to do some more research on this. But uh, we did like, research already. Me, here we go. I mean, I did you do research huh? more than a Jalalain? I mean, are you saying to me that you are more a scholar no, than a Jalalain? I'm just saying I'm not. I'm not going to jump to you know a conclusion because I don't. I don't do that. I usually. Um, okay, let us go I'll by the, the story in front of us until you find me, my friend, my friend. Until you find me, until you do your study for now. 
the story yeah. in front of us based on this how we can trust Muhammad to be a prophet of Allah if Allah is God not a prophet of shaitan there's countless reasons why it's that's kind of like a silly question why you go hold on guys this is a silly question if we just we have a proof from Islamic reference even from the Quran that Muhammad he received satanic verses and then you are saying to me it is silly to think Muhammad is a satanic prophet if he ag admit that this is was not from his God this is from shaitan and then the angel came to him and he says to him according to Muhammad you see Allah said Muhammad said we have no witnesses the only witnesses we have according to the story people they saw Muhammad praising the three daughters of Allah now because of that Muhammad he been exposed he got busted okay the only what I can think of right now until I do more research is this um so just like okay I'm gonna go back to the example of Jesus when he was fasting <clears throat> why you know why would he even be tempted if, if he couldn't sin you know what I'm saying or if he couldn't make a mistake tempted, or he couldn't see, slip up. Okay, I read in translation the word tempted no, there, no, my so friend, what I'm saying tempted, is like, tempted uh, as a past tense does not mean that he was tempted he tried shaitan he tried did, did yeah, Jesus, he's like he did told Jesus, them you know turn this Jesus, rock into bread yeah, did he Jesus told them, jump do off any, the edge and okay so the temptation is shaitan he yeah. wants something Jesus did not do what shaitan he want as simple as that here yeah. you're a prophet he did no, what I know. shaitan want no, what which, I'm trying to say is which, my, hold on hold on hold on my friend because shaitan the, the here, prophet the shaitan, prophet shaitan, hold on he hold on here you see that the danger here is yeah. not only shaitan he did not tempt Muhammad shaitan he spoke yeah. by the tongue of Muhammad how that can be mm -hmm. Well, he he recited the verses, is what it's saying there, and no then problem. he no problem. Even later I am took reciting, it back. Okay, my so friend, he, he I am let us say, let us say, I'm it, reciting, I'm reciting the Quran, say. my friend. I'm reciting the Quran, and I am a prophet. Then how Shaitan can control the tongue of a prophet, not the tongue of anyone? How he can do that? Um, <clears throat> maybe it was done for to him to show that he was a uh, human. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, hold I on. can't give you an answer. Okay, right I, will now. Give, I will give an answer. I will give an answer to prove to you that Muhammad is a satanic prophet. Read with me carefully yeah. what we will show you in this uh, screen. Hmm? Okay. Uh, the Quran said that Shaitan has no authority except yeah. those who follow him. Shaitan have no authority over Muslims. Except those who follow Shaitan. Do you say Hold on, English, English. You mean English? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So what the verse saying here? You have Allah speaking to Shaitan, saying to him, You yeah. have no authority over my slaves. Who is the slaves of Allah? Anyone who believe in him, correct? The Muslims. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Except those who who follow thee. So Shaitan. He have no power over Muhammad unless Shaitan and Muhammad are friends and Muhammad is following thee. <coughs> no power over any of them such save such of those where has followed thee. Um mm, that's problem here. That's disgusting. That's crazy. No, I see where you can see a problem there, but um So you don't see any type of way that um, you could um, Work yourself through this situation to see how he's a prophet of God my friend my friend hold on hold on I mean yes, why, 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 why are you know you are an adult because I, see, no because I, I, what I see you're doing do you know is do you know why I did not hang reasons. up on you and, until now usually because you hold on hold on you're, you're do, you know, do you know why I don't hang up with you because usually I lose my patient with Muslims and I, I can't take it no more the reason yeah. I you know I find in a few you are you are like a more reasonable than the rest you try to, to I'm trying you, you try to hide the stuff but you are still you have some honesty on you I feel it now I'm asking you the verse in front of you it's very clear it says you have yeah. no authority no the authority. only thing I could see is that he's not following him because that's the whole point he's not hold following on hold him. on hold on no no the verse the other verse proved to us that he's following him because you have no authority over my slaves except those who follow thee how shaitan was able to control the tongue of Muhammad the verse here saying that shaitan have no authority over anyone who is a normal Muslim what about someone he is a prophet of Allah so you have no authority 
over my slaves you have no power except only those who follow thee not tempted by the they follow yeah. they follow so here Muhammad in order to be under the authority of shaitan he have to be from one who follow thee if the Quran is the book of God and God is saying the yeah. truth I'm gonna I'm gonna ask around to see because that it means uh, one of two things it means that either you know because it says here that he has no power of any of, the, of them unless they follow him so it means that either he didn't say those verses because he has no power or it means that he did say the verses and there's the problem like, like you're saying so that's why some people don't accept those verses because friend, of this verse friend, right friend, here. Friend, you know what I'm saying? The verse, the verse, the problem is, do you speak Arabic? No, I don't okay. speak Arabic. The problem, you don't speak Arabic. In Arabic, it says it clearly that he received the verse because in Arabic, it says that whatever a shaitan he cast into the tongue of the prophet, Allah will take it away. It doesn't say if shaitan he try, it says whatever shaitan he did, Allah will yeah. take it away. So we cannot say, uh, I'm going to research. I'm going. Isn't to that kind of like when you know, if you like say a cuss word, that's kind of like a bad word. But then you ask but my friend, my friend, Allah takes on, it away. My friend, you, you, let us be honest here. He is reciting Quran. Yeah. Okay. The word of God should be protected by God. This is a special thing. It's not. I'm talking to you. Okay. Sometimes I, I make a mistake. I want to let us say a mother. She want to call her son instead of calling Ahmed. She call Muhammad. Correct. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But this is a different story here. Here we have a special delivery of the word of God. So how Allah preserved his words, he should not allow anyone to play with them. Here we have a big problem. Nobody can and no one can have authority over my slaves except those who they are bad, the criminals, those who follow yeah. thee. And then we find that shaitan, he controlled Muhammad. Secondly, my friend, and I want you to be honest with me, how I know that this verse itself, the one it says that whatever shaitan he cast, Allah will take it off. How yeah. do you know that this verse itself is not made from shaitan himself? Because to make us comfortable now, okay, here we go. You got me busted. Obviously, this is sent <laughs> verse. So let me make a verse for you, and I will say whatever he said, I will take it off. How we know that this is not this one even this one is not from shaitan just to make me relax and say don't worry be happy the shaitan yes he cast a cast in the mouth of muhammad but we will take it off um i don't know man and this one i don't i don't know much about this mm. you know okay this is my first time oh, taking I'm, uh, I'm just i'm just walking with you step to by this step. One. I, i'm walking with you step by step now listen to this if there is a guy, if you are a judge in a court, hmm? if yeah. you are a judge in the court, and somebody says to you that this witness, he imagined things happening, do you accept him to be a witness? So I'm sorry, say it one more time. Somebody he imagined things happening. He imagined, okay. he have an illusion, you know, okay. he have a mental yeah. illness. Do you accept him to be a witness in the court? Uh, no. Why? So he's like schizophrenic. Okay. So isn't it your prophet? He's suffering from the same issue according to your prophet? Uh, no. Read the hadith with me. Why are you are laughing at you? Laughing? Are you laughing at your prophet now? Come on. That's not right. I mean, show respect, please. Show respect, please, guys. Please tell this guy to show respect, not to laugh at his prophet. <laughs> no, man, I'm laughing. No. Because already you got your prophet busted. You said you will not accept him because he have what? Shofrenesia. You said that, right? I don't know how to say it correctly. Say it again, please. How you say that word? Uh, schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. Okay, that's that's a big yeah. word for me. I need a, like a week to learn it. So your prophet obviously is suffering from the same issue. How we can guarantee that when he says that he is receiving satanic verses, he is just not just a madman, or even in the in the in the best scenario, he is really receiving satanic verses. How we can trust this man is even seeing God or seeing an angel 
or he is receiving the Quran how you can trust him you just say to me I will not accept him even in a court in a normal court like somebody uh, witnessing for anything it's just a stupid court yet you accept such a guy to witness for you for God yeah I've never seen this one okay so what we would do now what do you think uh, that's tricky man I don't know and by the way this is sahih we cannot say it's weak yeah okay now additional thing what about Muhammad even his sex was 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 not true is what even his sex he never had sex for real he imagined having sex <laughs> Well, you are laughing show respect my friend come on <laughs> read carefully with me the prophet oh, okay. the prophet continued for such and such a period of time imagining that he had sexual relationship with his wives but in fact he did not like like a wet dream or something no like... no 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 that's not no that's not dream no that's not dream he he think he think he did in, in daytime he think he is having sex but in in fact, it's not. Hey, does this have a number? This. Uh, oh yeah, sure, sure. Here we go. I will give you. Just so I can like screenshot, you know. Yeah, no problem. This is Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number six zero six three. Do you see it? Uh, let, me, let me put this in notes. <coughs> Book number. You said what was it? Six zero six three. Okay, so now what we would do, my friend? You see, I'm, I'm uh, honestly the re the only reason I did now I did not hang up on you because first you let me talk and we can talk both of us. We don't shout over over each other. Secondly, I'm seeing on you that somebody trying to find out maybe Christian Prince is not lying. Maybe you know. Let us see if he is maybe. I'm showing you in the screen what I'm I, saying. I respect you. Okay, I respect okay. you. So my friend, can you accept really a person? You are the one who said. You will not accept a person who imagined things to be a witness in the court and it's proven yeah. from islamic stories the one is witnessing here is the wife of the prophet i mean this is not an enemy this is not a, the, this is the most respectful women in the history of islam actually for the muslims so how in the world we can accept muhammad to be a prophet read with me what hadith here it says do you see that it says bewitched yeah okay what bewitched mean you know in your definition Bewitched, that's <laughs> like uh, uh, um, what website is this? This is sunnah.com. Okay, um, bewitched is like um, possessed, I guess. Okay, what possessed mean? <laughs> I need your help, my friend. You see, English is not my first language. It's kind of like uh, uh, controlled by a force, yeah. By Under evil, magic, by yeah. evil, right? By evil, correct? By evil force. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, evil force is what? Isn't it satanic? Yeah, evil force is satanic, okay. too. But isn't it that verse it says that you have no authority over my follower except those who follow thee? Yeah. Okay, how shaitan was able to control Muhammad. So shaitan proving from Islamic resource that shaitan controlling Muhammad, not only his tongue, his brain, to the point he imagined he is a delusionate and he imagined things happening, but in fact, they never happened. But the Quran confirmed if the Quran is the book of God, then the book of God should be saying the truth. And there's no exception. No authority you have speaking to shaitan except those who follow thee and those who follow thee they will go to where they will go to hell do you see it yeah so based on these verses until now muhammad is going to hell guarantee yeah i, I understand your point here <clears throat> are you leaving um, islam now or you will leave it tomorrow Huh? Are you leaving Islam now or you will leave Islam tomorrow? Well, I mean, I don't, uh, no, I, I want to, I want to ask, you know, 
some people about this and see what they have to say because my friend let me ask you what people they will say to you i'm showing you that i don't know i mean uh, who, who you will ask who who is better than sahir bukhari i will tell you what they will say to you the brother brother this is a false <laughs> story brother brother the prophet did not do okay come on the books all islamic books saying that i mean what false story even the quran saying whatever shaitan cast allah will take it off how he will take it off if it's not there I mean, it's funny. It's going to say, "I'm going to take it off," but there's nothing to take off. That is even stupid. That will make the Quran a stupid book. So the Quran confirmed the story, the Hadith confirmed the story, and the interpretation of the scholars confirmed the story. And the same time, we have Sahih al Bukhari confirmed that the Prophet was bewitched. And by the way, bewitched is bigger than just casting a verse of uh, of in the Quran because bewitched that means. What's the word in Arabic? Uh, uh, what in, in Arabic? Yeah. Suhira Rasul. Suhira. Right. So here okay. we have we have a bigger problem. Okay. Here it says, "And the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam was suhira, hatta kana yuchayil ilayhi anhu sana ashayan walam yasnau." So the Prophet. Uh, 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 of Allah was bewitched to the point he imagined himself doing something in fact he did not okay what if Muhammad he was imagining that he saw Jibreel <clears throat> what if Muhammad was imagining he was receiving well, he couldn't Allah. have imagined that he saw Jibreel he saw you know something it wasn't that was an imagination why not well because he couldn't read or write, so something was giving him the knowledge. My friend, my friend, what can I? What, I mean, what does this have to do with reading or write? Let me let me tell you something. The no, because a man cannot just come up with that randomly, you know. No, he can. The Quran is the most silly, stupid book. What are you talking about? You see, because for you, I'm not insulting. No, there's a lot of scientific things in it. What's so scientific? Okay, show me one. Okay, hey, oh, hold on, guys, hold on. I, our friend here, it's, his conversation is getting even nicer. This is my challenge. Yeah. Up for me one scientific anything you wish the best you have and I will get it busted in in, in, in less than a minute Okay, go to um hmm. Surah al ankabut al ankabut Okay, what about what it says? Um, <coughs> what was it? It was um <coughs> In the verse last time Tyler says um, about um, Those who take protectors other than Allah hmm. is like that of uh the spider who builds his house, hmm. the flimsiest of houses. Okay. And uh, in that verse, it's the Arabic conjugation, the female, it's the female conjugation of um, the spider building the house. And they didn't know that the, the female spider builds the house, but nowadays we do. <laughs> There's one. Um, okay. Okay. My friend, can you give me the verse to be sure that we are talking about the same thing? Um, hold on. It is it's a uh, Quran 2941 okay it's in the front of me where it speak about the female and I want to see that 2941 hmm. where it says the word female and kaboot where they got you where, where who is the liar who said that to you unto herself a house where is her sir what her house she taketh unto herself a house what she this is the translation in Arabic it doesn't say that what does it say no it says it it took my friend in Arabic in Arabic Arabic language this is how yeah. this is how silly the liars who lie to you my friend in Arabic we say to all spiders we call them ankabut it doesn't matter it's a male or a female the same are the ant we call it namla you understand me yeah the same as nahla which means bees so there is certain certain insect we call them this is an arabic word used by uh, have nothing to do with male and female so they lie to you and they make it a miracle in fact it is a mistake and i will show you why it's a mistake it says okay. the likeness of those who choose other 
patrons then Allah is the likeness of the spider when she takes according to the translation into herself a house and Lou okay and okay. the the the, uh, the, the, fearless, the fearless uh, uh fearless of houses is the spider of house actually it is the more strong house and I'll explain that to you you see when okay. you compare when you, hold on 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 but before we finish before I finish my friend let me show you the mistake let me show you the mistake before we you know when we compare do we compare my house to a house of a spider or I compare a house of a spider to a house of other insect um well it's saying you know because the woman builds it and there's uh you know my, the man no is the women, head of the there's house. no women my friend the same so, like, the same the same lie eats, my friend my friend, the, the okay. male after my friend, after my friend, my friend if you go if you go to dictionary you can go right now take the dictionary you will see the word ankabut is okay what is the word ma a male for ankabut then teach me no it's when, when <laughs> she builds no doesn't say builds, that right? doesn't say that my friend this is a female word which means this is a this is a word we use for a spider it's a female word the same as we say like we there's certain words we say nahar nahar is not a, a female word but is the nahar which means river is it a male it is not in the language in arabic language we have male and female words so insects most of them we call them female as an example uh, uh we say namla no but the point in this verse was supposed to be that she take it that she take it how did they how did they how did no it says so al -an -an how did he know that no it's not it she a take female it. spider it's, she it's take not it she take it okay do you want me to show you the interpretation it says there's no way it says that this is about she and he come on my friend it's a female spider it yeah. is not it's not it's a lie it's a lie nowhere here what do you it mean says, it says right there it is she not this, is a, herself. this is a translation it says in arabic it, it, it took you know i can show you. okay i will take the whole word here we go do you see the word it here no 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 okay hold take on, no, from no. uh this this the, is, the spider the when she takes it yeah, yeah, this, the word. this is the word it it the word it right not the word no no, no. this Defenses. is the word they are translating the word she took from the word it this is the word they are translating that. So they say she took, but the the fact here there's no she, and there's no, no. female. No, I don't think that was the word. My friend, no. it's in the front of you. Where is the word she female and kaboot? Where is where it says that? I if I show you now the the uh, dictionary, do you agree with the dictionary? No, I don't think it's that Arabic word, but I forgot what it was. So let's go to the next verse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next verse. What verse? Give me. Okay. Quran 86 verse 1 to 3 okay 86 <laughs> 86 1 to 3 okay all right Quran 86 verse 1 2 3 okay what is where is uh are you sure uh, sorry 86 you said 86 86 yeah. okay are you sure you want to choose this one I warn you this is a bad one very bad choice <laughs> I'm telling you I mean this is horrible you have a horrible choice now but anyway, it's up to you. Go ahead. What is the, what is the? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm. Go ahead. Read it. No, no, no. This is the same verse, my friend. It says that the women, the women, no, no, no. she have hold a sperm on. coming from her ribs, and no, the men no, have a sperm. One, no. Hold on. Well, you mentioned it. Let's just stay here. No, I same... give you the wrong. Verse. Okay, my friend, my friend, hold on. Hold on. As long as we are here. Is it this is the same verse saying that the women she has no, but did you know that did you know that uh actually the uh the the ovaries and the the testes are actually up my friend what they're the ovaries up the before they you drop. see the muslim they are lying to you my friend this is about the man and the women and who knows the quran better than the prophet tell me who can explain the quran more than the prophet do you know more than him no okay what if i show you what the prophet explained this this is about um tariq you know tariq the star even this one is a mistake how okay because simply Muhammad okay you see the, what the problem is the Muslim they you have, know what people that okay, one up hold on hold on okay let us go no problem here we go chapter 86 <coughs> here we go yeah no I lost you Sorry. Okay. The star of Tariq 
is a morning star, which is nothing what the Muslims they speak about. The Muslims they say no, it's the knocker. It's, it's no, like the, no, the knocking. No, and actually, no, they, tariq, yeah, my, my friend, like a, tariq, do you know what tariq means? The one who knock at the door, the visitor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. A tariq in yeah. Arabic have nothing to do with what they say. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Does it? Does it? Did you see the interpretation? Uh, yeah. Mm. Is it the morning star? Oh, it's the morning star. Yeah. Mm. So why they are lying to you? Suddenly they change it. They find something. I thought it was the knocking star. See, no, no, it's not. It's, it's you see. Let me tell you something. All those articles you can go, go read my book, Quran and Science and Depth. I get them busted all. So they lie. They take. Give something. me, give me five seconds. I'm unplugging. Put in my charger. One second. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so as you see, everything you give. Give me another one. Let us switch to something else. I, I, I will keep going with you. Maybe you can find something. Finally, finally, maybe something truthful. Not all of them. They are lying. On speaker. Different one. Give me a different one. What was it? Give you another one? Yeah, give me. Maybe it goes until now. All what you said to me, it turned to be false. Okay, how about um, the center of the earth is made up of uh, mostly iron, a little bit of nickel. It's made of mostly iron, and then the okay. center what, of the crown what, what, is what uh, verse? What verse? Huh? What verse? Go, chapter 57 is Al Hadid. It says what? That, then, that, huh? Explain to me what it says. So, the so Al Hadid, that's iron, right? Hmm. So, meaning that the creator, the center of the both of creation, so the, the center of the book, it says and that? in the center of the earth, where it says that exact iron. thing, do you know? No, it's the name of the chapter because half well, there's 114 chapters. I know, but where, half, but half of 114 but where, is 57. Where it says where it says that the center of the earth, where it says that. Oh, the center of the earth is. Uh, look it up, Google. Google. No, 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 where, where in the Quran it says that this is a, the center of the earth? Where it says that. Well, no, it's the center of the Quran and then the center of the earth. They're the same thing. Iron. What center of the Quran? This is not the center of the Quran. So how, how that yeah, can be center 57. of the Quran? Oh, hold 57. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Do, do you know mathematics? Yeah. Okay. The Quran is how many verses? It's 114 chapters. Okay. What is the middle of it? 57. No, that's not true. Let me let me let me choose. What do you some, mean? Let me teach you some mathematics, my friend. After 114 okay, is my friend, 57. No, no, no. Here we go. You see, when you this say, is... okay, 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 first of all, first of all, the Quran, which is you have today, the numbers have nothing to do with the Qurans of Muhammad. If we go to according to Revelation, is it going to be the same? It's not. Have you ever heard? Huh? Have you ever heard that the Quran you have today is not according to Revelation? Yes or no? Um. Yeah, I've heard that. But okay, uh, what is the number according to Revelation? But then, even if they put it together like no, that, my friend, how my they friend, no, no, my friend, my friend, my friend. This is Uthman. The people who work for Uthman, they put it this way. So, are you saying to me that the one who put it, they better than Allah, because Allah, He put it in different order. You Muslims, you change it, and now you are saying to me it is in the half of the Quran. Yeah, but how do you know that they didn't put in the order that Allah wanted them to? No, that's mean they are prophet too. That's mean they are inspired by Allah and they are prophets. That's well, mean Allah. Inspired, but not that's prophet. mean no. That's mean they are. They are prophet too. Now here we go. This is the Quran according to Revelation, and let us see where is the chapter of Al Hadid. The chapter of Al Hadid. Here we go. Let's go in here and search fifty-seven. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. The real number of 57, according to Revelation, is a chapter of Luqman. Do you see it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So now we go. Well, we're not done, actually. Let me show you something stupid here. You see, they are the one who mentioned this, so we have to deal with it now. You, can, you, cannot, okay. you, can, you cannot escape it. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you are the one who brought this to yourself. So you, you, you gave me a verse saying that this is a proof that Allah is God. This is a proof that Allah is false. Read with me carefully. Yeah. It says what? And we send with them the book. This is a translation here says approved. Doesn't say that by the way. It say okay, actually it says al yeah, which means like uh, the clear evidence, okay. And the, and reveal to them the scriptures and the balance that mankind observe not, uh, uh, right measure 
and he revealed the error on the fact that it doesn't say that it says in Arabic and we send down the iron yes okay when he's, yes okay hold on let's hold on. send down you know iron doesn't come from the earth F you know, false. it takes like 150 million degrees false, to form iron. No, no, this is false. That's not what the science says. Science no, says, it's true. No, no, no I, true. I know what the science says. You can search right. We can search right now on Google. According to science, you know, we wouldn't have friend, the ozone layer. Finish. We wouldn't have my the friend, down my down friend, radiation let me, let me belts, no my friend, hemoglobin my friend, in our blood. My friend, we send down iron means it. Plus my friend, sent it from my the stars. friend, hold on. According to science, and we can search right now in Google, and what we'll show you in the screen, that according to science, that the the crust on the crust there's big percentage of the iron on the crust not the earth on the crust yeah, was coming as a but said, but look what happened the here. hold on too. hold on hold on what happened it says we send you iron for mighty war hold on what are you talking about this one is the verse is saying no. it says we send the iron for mighty war <laughs> mighty power no it says mighty war what are you talking about? But Sun Shadi, this is for war. Do you want do you do you, do you, barely you sent our do, message? Do you want me to You're show you the interpretation? Proof. Do you want me to show you the interpretation? That's My, mighty power. What are you talking okay, about? let me show you the interpretation here. Go let's see if this is true or not. You see, Christian Prince, don't say things without proof. Chapter 57, verse number 25. Here we go. This is your official government website. Okay. Okay. It's about war. So that's mean the man was there first, and then the, the Aaron came. In the same verse, it says that we send down the books. So Allah, He always sent. And not only that, I will show you a verse saying that Allah, He sent down feather, feather. I mean, chicken, but feather. feather. Yes, feather. I will show it to you. Okay, here we go. This is a chapter fifty-seven, verse number twenty-five. And this yeah, but is, don't you don't you understand what it's supposed to mean, though? My friend, I understand. Here we go. Okay, read with me carefully. Okay. Which translation? What what interpretation you like me to show you? Uh, I don't care. You don't care. Okay, no problem. All right. And we send down iron. We caused it to be extracted uh, 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 from mineral ores where in a great might, which may wage war, wage battle as many use uh, uses for mankind. You see it. So yeah. Allah is saying that he sent you the iron so you can kill people. Now, here, look what it says in the Quran. It says that we send down the proof. We send down the book. We send down the scale. Did Allah send the scale? No. And then he and then he says, and we send down the iron. Anything Allah created, he say in the Quran, we send down. And I will give you the proof of that. They lie to you and they claim that this is about sending down iron from the sky. The fact, no. Let us see how we can prove that not true. If we go in the Quran, one of the problems <coughs> Muslims uh, 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 suffer from, but they don't know, they don't speak, uh, they don't speak Arabic, you know. The Quran yeah. says we send down on them the bass and warish. He has the verse up right now. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, the 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 website for some reason froze. Let me try a different okay. website. Hold on. You accept that Jesus prayed like Muslims do today? Let's, let's change topic, please. No, I'm just asking. Oh, children of Adam, we have revealed into you the remnant or to cancel your shame. Okay, so Allah He sent down. You see the translation is here. We send we we reveal the fact doesn't say that it says we send down. Let's change the translator. It says Allah like anything you have. It says we send down. We send down here. He he said we best would. We bestwood. What bestwood mean? Like we have given. Okay. No, in, Ar in Arabic it says "waqad anzalna." This is exactly the same written in that in, about the Aaron. Anzalna alaykum libasan yuwari sawatakum, and we send send down on you. Change the translation. Let us see. We keep changing from one to one. Shakir. Here we go. This guy. You see it? 
we have indeed sent down to you clothing to cover your shame okay in the top of that it says uh, 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 a here they, they cover that they, they, it doesn't say they didn't say a reach in reach reach in a feather reach the word reach is feather this is the word reach so so it says the same thing no the translation is wrong they they, they, no, they hide the, the same word. thing as the hadith I yes we send down clothes did, did allah send you clothes really <laughs> you see I'm, you see we're trying to have an honest discuss, discussion with they die to you so how come if if that one if that one it says we send down and this one we it says send down so how here they did not say okay we discovered that the underwear i have is sent down by allah <laughs> right yeah, it's, a, it's a lie and not only that here they hide in the translation there were the word reach according to the quran allah even reach which is feather allah he sent down even even feather which means the chicken was naked and allah he sent her a package in amazon and she received her feather you see the word feather is gone i cannot find it i can't find one translation saying the word feather and change the translation from one to one you know not even one of them is coming with the word feather yeah where is the word feather i don't see it so they lie to you you see they they are desperately trying to find a place where they can make a science out of nothing give me another one let's continue until now we found zero um okay i gotta find the verse i know which one i want to <laughs> um sir a tuck queer okay 81 15 to 21 what the verse saying 15 to 21 what what the, okay tell me what is what uh, what the miracle there <laughs> hold on let it load on the screen real quick hmm. Okay. Um, does it say? Um, so I I looked it up on uh, Quran dot com. I think it is here, mm. or Legacy Quran dot com. And it says that the translation here says, uh, so I swear by the retreating stars for verse. Mm. Um, it says that, and then it says first, those that run first, their courses first, and disappear. First, this, is, this is not a star. This is a planet. It says planets? Yes. I, it doesn't Al say stars. Al-Khunnas is not a star. It's a planet. Secondly, Al-Khunnas is a very well known by, 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 the Muslim, by, by the Arab at that time. Muhammad is just choosing what the Arabs see in their eyes. No, hold on. Go back to the verse. Okay, the verse. Here we go. I'm gonna tell you what it was. Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh in this tra any other translation, it was by the stars, but it's uh, hey, my friend, by the it, planets okay. that ever even, seen. even if they are stars. Let me show you here. There is a mistake. There's it's a mistake. uh. Okay, the scientists they, nowadays they see no, that no, no. You um, see, when they're you see, when everything the Muslims, in the universe is expanding outwards my and they used to think friend, it was that static. Is, that is a lie. This is not what it says. Have nothing to do with, with any of what they are saying there. You see the planets that recede, you know, they are moving friend, away. My friend, my friend. As long okay, you want you want to talk about the, the shape of the planets? You want to talk about no them? no no it means like that like from us no. everything is moving out like the universe is expanding so like the planets that recede like every okay. other planet but around us is but moving your away prophet said, your prophet said that the, the earth is getting close from the sun huh huh your prophet he said that this the earth is getting close from the sun actually the sun getting is getting close, close to from, it the sun is going to get, get close to us until the, in the judgment day the sun will be so close and to the point we will be sweating 
and our sweat will be covering our our uh, almost our our ears so this is a lie same time if if the muslims are being honest in anything they say when you speak about the space who know better the space than muhammad no Let's but it's see. true that everything is moving away though okay my friend universe. my friend my friend no 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 everything is moving away true 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 my brother true 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go with you but this is not what the quran says anyway let's say regardless if it's true or not i don't care really what scientist says i am asking you right now do you know what the quran and what allah meant better than your prophet no okay where the sun goes every day as long everything go away okay where the sun goes every day where does it go yeah nowhere what do you mean nowhere the sun is right there it just stays there mm. but your prophet you don't agree let's see this is your prophet speaking read with me let me make it more clear for you Not when the sun sets until it's right. Oh, some goes. So here we go. Your prophet here saying that yes, the stars goes away. I agree with you now. Are we happy? <laughs> and then a time will come when he about to cry. Hmm? Are we happy? Finally, we find something true. Muhammad, he said the stars goes away. The sun is a star and the sun every day. We travel from point A to point B and sleep where? Do you know where sleep the sun, where the sun sleep where? It goes till it prostrates itself underneath the yeah, throne. But where, 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 where is the throne of Allah? Where is the throne, where is the throne of Allah? Do you know? Um, well, that's I don't I don't find a problem with that. Hold on. That's what do you mean you don't find a problem with that? Are, then, no, hold on. Oh, wait, let me read. Hold on. And then, not be accepted. Um, what's the context of this verse? What's it explaining? What's the no, nothing, my friend? Muhammad is leaving the mosque, and he asked because Muhammad is a scientist. He worked in NASA. He wanted to teach those ignorant Arab where the sun goes. So he said to his follower, the one who was with him, Abu Dhar, he said to him, the prophet asked me, at the sunset, do you know where the sun goes? See, the guy is not even asking him. But Muhammad, he cannot stop sharing his knowledge because it's amazing. Okay. So at the, sun, at, the, at the time of the sunset, I replied, Allah and his apostle know better. So Muhammad, he got his knowledge from Allah. There's no way he's going to make mistake. In. We associate the name, the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. He said, it goes. Who? The sun, i.e. travel, till it's prostrate itself underneath the throne of Allah, the throne, and take permission yeah. to rise again. And it's permitted. Then the time will come when it will be uh, brought straight, which means the sun will ask again for permission and will not accept it. But will ask will 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 be will be order. It says here it will be asked permission to go in, in its course, but it will not be permitted. But it will be ordered to return whence it has come. So it will rise from the west. So it came from where to Allah? It came from the west. Mm. Now let me let me draw this for you, so we can we can have a better understanding for this hadith. All right, just for the better understanding. The sun is here. Let us draw this. The sun now is here. Your prophet is here. He is with a, his a friend in his donkey. This is Muhammad and his a friend. Muhammad, he said to his a friend, the sun, do you know where the sun goes? Okay. Actually, I should put the sun, sorry, in the other direction because now the sun is in the west, supposedly. So I will make it here. So the sun is here and the sun now is going down and Muhammad he said to him now the sun is going to prostrate itself under the throne of Allah so the throne of Allah have to be in the West based on Muhammad explanation because it's going to the West so Allah throne is here and now the sun will be down the throne of Allah and then in the morning before the morning come the Sun will ask Allah to go a raise again from the East and will be permitted 
but at the end of the time Allah will say no go back from where you came from which means she came from the West last time now we go back from the West and we will raise or what's going to be rose from the West so why the Muslims they are busy speaking about science and the Quran and by the way this is confirming the Quran isn't it the Quran says that the Sun sit in the murky water yeah but that that's like uh you know, you see like that um and it looks like water you know what i'm saying yeah but it does it say that the sun set in the murky water yeah i know okay is that a scientific mistake or this is uh, something you think it's right um how the muslims, it might be figurative you know how the muslims explain this do you know how i, I will help you the Muslim, they say, oh, this is from uh, the eye perspective of uh, the guy, Al Khadr. Yeah. But it doesn't say that. Read, read me carefully, my friend. Who is the one who's talking now? Allah. Huh? Allah says, they ask thee, ask who? Muhammad. A bunch of Jews ask Muhammad about the Quran, the man with the two horn. I mean, have you ever heard of a guy, his name, the man with the two horn? What's his name? We don't know. Obviously, he's talking about Alexander the Great. Say, I shall recite to you. You are remembrance of him who is talking until now Allah Lu we made a strong in the land and we gave him into everything a road so Allah is the one leading him and then okay. till when he reach do you see something wrong with me here my friend who's talking okay Allah is talking he reach where he reached the sitting place of the sun. Does it say that? Yeah. Okay. How you can reach that? Setting place of the sun. He found it was setting. No, no, before you continue, he found it sitting in murky water. But before we go, we are trying just to analyze, you know, to understand. When you say I reach the sitting place of the sun, it means it's a place, correct? Yeah. Okay, so now it's quick. It's confirmed that the one is talking, speaking about what happened to this guy. It's not the guy says, I thought I reached. The, the Allah is talking. He until, until what? Until he reached a point. What is that? Where the sun set. So when they try to fabricate the interpretation, they say, oh, this is from the eye perspective. It is not Allah. It's not Allah saying that. The verse is so clear. It says, until. He reached the sitting place of the sun. It's a location. So the guy, he was following a road, guided by Allah, until he reached the sitting place. This is a this is a place he reached. And then he found it. Not he thought, not he saw it. He found it. When you say he found it, I'm reporting a fact. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So now he found it sitting in the muddy water. Is that accurate? Do you believe um, no the sun does not do that okay so why you how you think this is from God I mean what explanation is the smarter Muslims okay who is, who is a smarter Muslim in history the smartest yes the top <laughs> Muhammad maybe <laughs> Muhammad of course okay what if I show you what Muhammad said what you would do Let's see. Okay, let us see. Because now the Muslim they will say, Oh, Muhammad, obviously, he's an idiot. He does not know what he's talking about. Here we go. This is your prophet explaining the verse. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, S A W S F M radio station, who was riding a donkey <laughs> while the sun was setting. He asked, Do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Oh. And this is the interpretation of the smartest ever Muslim. Have you ever had another Muslim try to tell you what this means? The, the, um, all Muslims are the same for me, my friend. Like, you see, you are a nice person. That's why I did not hang. I, I'm actually, I'm surprised. 
I mean, how in the world you, I survive to talk to you all this time without hanging on? Because usually, I, I'm like, you know, uh, everybody knows, like in the last two weeks, I have blood pressure from shouting, screaming. So uh, uh, when we talk to Muslims, the second you show them something stupid, they start screaming, shouting, they will not let you read. I mean, <laughs> but you are not doing that. And I respect that on you. Now, you tell me what is that. Now, let, 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 let us assume they will say to you, this is Daif. It's not. You know the story, right? You know the, you know the story of Daif, Sahih, you know? You know the story, the song, huh? This is Daif, this is Sahih, this is Daif, this is, you know? It is not Daif. Wait, what? It is not Daif. The Hadith is not Daif. This is a proven story. And the reference is all over. So Muhammad, he agree with the Quran. Why Muslims, they lie and they say, oh, this is from the eye perspective. This is not what Allah is saying. So the, the verse saying clearly, he reached the sitting place of the sun. How in the world you can reach that place? I can reach that when I am sitting in my ass right now. From my window, I will see the sun set in a few hours. I do not need to go anywhere. Right? Yeah. Okay, so this is a lie. Not only that, look what happened. What about a few verses after? Here, the same story. And then he changed the road. He took different uh, different highway. Okay, now, till when he reached the rising place of the sun. What the heck is that? Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, how he reached the rising place of the sun. What is that? You tell me, help me. I'm listening. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then he found it rising. That's a discovery. I mean, he never saw this before. He reached the place where the sun rises. This is the, the garage of the sun. <laughs> okay, so now what we learn from this, you're a prophet, he made it clear. He the sun goes and prostrates itself under a throne. But the throne is where? Do you know what the throne is, is where? Based on what all what we said to you? The throne of Allah is above the water. Do you agree with that? Oh, uh, well, you're gonna, uh, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess so. Actually, let us confirm that so people will not say we are making things up, you know? And here's a throne is above the water. Do you see it? Hold on. This throne was upon water. Hmm? Yeah, I see that. Okay, so that 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 complete the image for us. So now, if we wanna if we wanna draw the image based on all of this, Quran and the Hadith, both of them they confirm one thing: that there is yeah. there is. Let us see a bigger space here. Okay, so what Muhammad is trying to say to us that the sun every day. Go and sleep under the throne of Allah. There's a there's a water here, and the water is muddy. Let us uh, take off this thing so people can see better. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. So here there's here is here there's a water, and this water is muddy boiling water. Actually, in Arabic it says hamia. Not only it's muddy, it's boiling. Okay. So here there's a muddy brown water, and now the sun will come from the east every day and then will go down in the muddy water and then the throne of Allah is above and we will make the throne of Allah blue to make you happy this is the throne of Allah so the Sun goes every day from this point to this point and for sure, this is absolutely scientist, scientifically correct. There's a scientist, his name Yama I do lie, Yama from Japan, very well known. He agreed with that. You're joking, right? I, I don't know. I mean, Muslims they quote for us name of scientists to prove a point which is a lie. Scientists, even we never heard of them, and even some of them they are exist, but never said what they said. So how in the world this is can be the book of God, my friend? Here we go. Muhammad says, Allah said, 
the prophet said Allah said okay how he is a prophet of Allah and this Allah is funny how this is can be from God I mean honestly my friend I don't know what's your name what's your name by the way Angelo okay how in the world do you want to stay as a Muslim Be honest with me after all of this you still think you are a muslim well you know the way it was presented to me was like uh you know the one true god and uh of all the prophets and uh you know um i don't really know anything about all this but like when you're showing it to me now it's okay. like confusing everything like, okay so you want to be still as a muslim well, I just I want to understand like uh, I mean come on my friend listen you are what you are, a, you, are, you, you, are, you, you are are you like a certain sect of Christianity uh, hold on I'm not I don't follow a sect I follow I follow Christ I don't follow a sect why am I for a sect you're not uh, like you're not Catholic I don't care about all those names I care for following my Lord my friend so like you know like Jesus when he said to pray like how do we have justification that we're supposed to pray to Jesus but what do you mean like how do you know you're supposed to pray to jesus or like how i know what you're supposed to pray to jesus i sub i don't understand the word can you say it slowly one how how do you know you're supposed to pray to jesus how i know okay yeah. Did jesus said uh, uh come to me knock at my door and i will open for you ask me i will answer you every two every two of you will mention my name i will be i will be between you and that is clear proof that he is an eter eternal living God because how he can do that there's three four billion human Christians and imagine now me and you we are talking about his name he is going to listen to us that's impossible for a human being so he says it clearly you pray to me not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so now my friend before we talk about Jesus do you announce yourself you are out of Islam Um, uh, that would be kind of a big thing here. Um, why, why a big thing, my friend? You listen, you are a person, God, He gave him a gift, it's called a brain. And I, your brain was functioning, so now your brain will stop. Be honest with me, all what we say to you is not enough proof that this is cannot be from God. You know, I, uh, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, I was, um. I was raised uh, a Catholic, but um, I didn't know anything about like those verses that you showed me and everything like that. Okay. So like, I don't need you to explain to me uh, like anything about like the crucifix or anything. I understand that, but like, what draw me towards Islam was like, uh, you know, in Catholicism, there's like, you know, you have the rosary. And you have things like that. My my friend so, Muhammad, you have a rosary. Who said he don't? Look what the rosary uh, of Muhammad. You see, you see the problem. With my respect to you. I'm not. I'm not insulting by the by the way. You see, I am ignorant in English. Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, all of us we have some yeah. ignorance somehow. I can say a word sometimes. I say it funny. People laugh at me, but that will not be a problem, you know. Uh, uh, but here we talk about God, which we cannot be ignorant about God. Muhammad, he did took the rosary too from the Christians. He have he said to you if you say the word of Allah 33 times you go to heaven Allah forgive your sin and then he says the name of his God is 99 which is the rosary three stones plus a three 30 30, uh, 30 33 is the age of Jesus if you if you look at the rosary have a three a three stones and then have yeah. 30 stones that you I, I know this is what Islam is about. I'm not. You see, once I say I said with the sheikh, long beard. I mean, this this guy look. I did not shave his beard for maybe for 15 years. He is an old. I really I, I respected this guy. He is a look very decent, and he have a rosary in his hand. And I sat next to him. You know, we were visiting like a castle, and I said to him, "Salamu alaikum, uncle." He said, "Alaikum salam." He said, "What is this rosary with you?" He said, uh, "To praise Allah." I said, "Where do you get this from?" He said, what do you mean? He said, like you Muslims, where do you get this rosary from? He said, I don't know. I, you know, we do, I took it from grandfather. All of us, we do that. 
I said, isn't it Jesus? He has the age of 33 years in earth. He said, yes. Isn't it Jesus? He spoke that the, according to Christians, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. He said, yes. He said, I said, count the words, count the, count the stones. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and then the 33 years of the age of Jesus. That is your rosary. You are praying, you are, you are copying from the Christians without knowing. And this is the same as Muslims. Muhammad is nothing but a thief. Everything he have is a theft. The story of Alexander the Great, the sunset in murky water, is a story written by a Syrian person, Syrian, not a Syrian, Syrian person who wrote a fictional story about Zulkarnain. The story of the cave is a story written, a fictional story written by a, 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 a Syrian bishop, a Ramek bishop, about how the Christians are humiliated and later will be victorious. Muhammad took it, put it in the Quran. Everything Muhammad he have is a theft. So my friend, I want you to be honest with me. Today, this moment is a moment of salvation. I'm asking you, are you brave enough to say the truth that there is no way that this is from God? Well, I know that those, what you showed me, uh, like about the sun and everything like that, that stuff's not true. Okay, if, 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 one, um, if one only one thing in the Quran, not from God, that means the Quran is not from God. What about satanic verses? What about nobody have authority over my followers? What about Muhammad being bewitched? What Muhammad imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. I mean, come on. What about the, 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 the sperm coming from the backbone? What about the sperm coming from the ribs? What about whoever have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. I mean, I can count for you endless. All of this will not make you say, I am out of his now. I just I don't I don't know what else what like what um path would I go down if it's not Islam you know like just like my, my what friend, my friend this, this is, this like, is let me ask you let me, let me do let us say Christianity is false Islam is false uh, Judaism is false that is not no, I know it's was, either Islam or Christianity no, I, know no, I am saying to you I'm giving you an example I'm saying to you that is not an excuse to stay in the false just because I do not know where to go no, I don't want to. I want the truth. This is the truth. You know? Trust me, my friend. I am not here. I studied Islam all my life, not to say to you something I do not know. I know this cult more than any Muslim ever you ever met. They try to defend the honor of the Prophet, but he is no Prophet and he have no honor. Do you know that Muhammad, even when he get married, his first wife, do you know how he married her? Uh, yeah. How? Oh, his first wife? Yeah. How? How? Khadija. No. Yeah. Do you know that he and, and, and his and his wife they made her father drunk? Uh no. <laughs> Have you what do you what do you think if your daughter and her future husband make you drunk and then when you wake up she claimed that you married her to this guy? What do you say about such a girl? Okay, C P C B you showed me enough, but I just want to know this. So like a lot of Christians, they don't like, they don't even pray, and they just say like, "Oh, you know, because Jesus died, now I don't really have to do anything." No, or, no, you know, no, 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 my friend, my friend, this is not true. This is not true. Can you clarify? No, for, no, no, you say, hold on, no, no, no. You see, you you don't judge Jesus by a Christian, and you know that you know better than this, correct? Let us yeah, say, let know, us say, for the sake, hold on, hold on, like, my friend, you know, hold on, let's be honest. Mary, no, no, no. Like that, let saints. us say, let us say, all the Christian in the world, they became false Christian. Let us say all of them, nobody left. That will not make me not stop believing in Jesus because, okay, don't do what they do. If they don't pray, pray. Who said to you, don't pray? Jesus says, if you want to pray, pray like this. He never said, don't pray. Jesus himself, he fast. So you fast. And actually, there's millions of Christians that start, start getting ready now to fast already. There is there is ninety days of fasting in every every church in the world, especially those who they call themselves Orthodox. So who said there's no fasting? Who said there's no prayer? Who said there's no don't pray? This is not true. And I cannot judge Jesus by someone he is a drug dealer, or by a woman she is a whore. This is not fair. We judge God by God Himself. We judge Jesus by Jesus, not by Christian prince. What if a Christian prince is a bad person? What I have to do with Jesus? I am not Jesus. And I have no even clothes to be like him. So you as an honest person, you have to know, and you know better, that we judge. I judge Muhammad by Muhammad. 
I don't judge Muhammad by Osama bin Laden, by the way, because if Osama bin Laden is doing what Muhammad he said and he did, then Osama bin Laden is just a follower, right? So, if you want to judge a Christian, how do you, what Jesus said? He said, you know them from their fruits, correct? Yeah. Okay. The fruits is going to decide if you are a Christian or not, not your name, not your birth. Yeah. So, my friend, do you accept the fruit of Jesus and reject the fruit of Muhammad? Um. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Look, um, you know, there's strong evidence that, you know, the original way the Jews used to pray was just like how the Muslims pray today. So that would have, you know, Jesus prayed that way. And along with his teaching, doesn't that go more with Islam, though? My friend, the, 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 why don't Christians pray that on, way? Hold anymore? on, hold on. You are smarter than this. Listen, to, let me tell you something. If I now create a cult and I copy how the Jews they pray, does it does does that make me a religion? Does that make no, me? No, I'm not from, saying. Okay, okay, no, no. Even see, if you put, Jesus even if you put, Islam no, Jesus, to the Jesus, side, Jesus. Oh, I don't Christians hold, pray that my way. My friend, anymore. my friend. First of all, Jesus did not spend. Did not pray like the, the the Jews, and the Jews don't pray like Muslims. When the Jews they pray, they lay down in the ground. Do the Muslims they down on the ground? No. Okay, so this is the, that's not the same. Secondly, let me show you something proven Muhammad to be a false prophet. Read with me this. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, read it for us, please. Um, oh, hold on, slowly. The Messenger of Allah used to stand up for a funeral until the corpse was placed in the grave. A learned Jew once passed him and said, This is how we do. The Prophet sat down and said, Sit down and act differently from them. Is that a prophet of God, you think? Be honest with me. A Jewish guy, he walked by, he said, This is how we do it. This is a song, you know it. This is how we do it. <laughs> and then Muhammad said, Right away, Sit down, sit down, sit down, act differently. If this is how they do it and this is the right way, who care? You change the way you pray just because a guy he said this is how we do it. What do you mm. think? Obviously, this guy is a liar because if this is the way to do it and this is how God taught him to do it. Then why in the world do you want to change it? So what? Isn't it the Muslim they say that we have the same God and so it's normal to pray the same together, the same prayer? No. Muhammad, you don't like that. Muhammad, in a second, he changed the way the prayer is just because a guy walked by and he is a rabbi and it says here, it says here, read carefully with me. And uh, yeah. uh, when uh, uh, a Jewish, a Jewish, a learned Jew, a learned Jew is a rabbi. Yeah. Okay. So, because of a rabbi, imagine to me, I am a Christian, and I'm yeah. praying as Jesus said to me to pray, and then a Jewish guy, he says to me, "This is how we do it." I say, "Oh, oh, 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 I'm not going to do it like this no more because this is how they do it. Obviously, they get me busted. I am copying them. This is why he ordered them to change immediately because he felt guilty. Obviously, the Jew, according to Muhammad, how this is how he feel it." The Jew, he got me busted. I'm copying them. Mm. This is why he changed it. He changed it right when the guy came In back. a second. It did not, the guy did not even pass. I mean, the angel did not come to him and say, hey, hello, okay, do it differently. In a second. Who is? Who are you to change it? So that's me and the way he was praying all this time was wrong? Mm. So what do you say, my friend? I invite you right now to denounce the devil and his religion, which is Islam, and to accept the Messiah as your savior. Yeah, that's what I'm unsure about. I accept him. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, my friend, and bless your family, and bless all your wife, and I see, I hear people around you. May the Lord guide you and keep you in a strong faith, and don't ever let the devil, de 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 you know, deceive you again. My friend, the devil, he come to the good hearts from the good windows sometimes. The Lord, the Messiah, he said, he come to you, they come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. And this is what Islam is about, is nothing but a wolf. I'm so happy for you. Look at the chat. The chat is boiling. There's a thousand three hundred people. They are praising the Lord for your salvation, my friend. What do you want to say to them? Thanks for your prayers, guys. Thank you very much. I am really happy to have you. May the Lord really bless us all by by blessing you, because a blessing will be for all of us. For all of us, we shared in saving a person who really was lost with such a stupid cult. And how in the world we can follow such a cult? Please pray for me, everyone. Pray we, for my strength. Absolutely, hey, everybody. Please pray for for our friend here. Uh, you said your uh, your name is Angelo. Yes, Angelo. Please, all of you, pray for our brother here, Angelo, for his salvation, for his family, for guidance, so the Lord will strengthen him with his with his faith. There is no way we can compare between light and darkness. There's no way it's an insult to compare between the, the Christ the Messiah and Muhammad someone He is very savage Very bad even his followers accuse him to be still in underwear And then we compare him to someone like the Messiah how in the world we can leave the light and we'll throw the darkness Jesus says I am the light. I am the truth. I am the beginning. I am the, the end I am who I am God said to Moses. I am so my friend you are with the Lord who nobody can defeat. And if the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Happy for you, Angelo. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Anything else, my friend? No, that's it. Um, I'll message you on Skype if I have anything else. But you thank welcome. you so much. You are welcome. And say, say uh, I apologize if I say anything that was harsh. And say hi to your, your wife if she is your wife there. I heard somebody speaking to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, happy for all the family there. I'm sure she is happy too. Yes, yeah. she is. She's all happy. Right. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Take care. All right. I'm into that. Sometimes you don't know what to say. Sometimes I you know last two weeks. I was really upset for myself because I don't give my time even a break to the point my blood pressure was going high But when you see a result like this all all the pain all the illness all all the headache you have It is gone. It is absolutely gone. What a beautiful day So we are grateful for the Lord for he sending you to us and look you know this 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 gentleman he was arguing and arguing and arguing and he want to prove me wrong he did everything he can the one who is victorious today my friend is you not me your loss is your win i am the one who gained nothing spend hours talking losing my voice having a headache you are the winner today. It's not Christian Prince. You just won your salvation. This is why we say to the Muslims, we don't hate you, my friend. We don't hate you. But we hate to see you going to hell. We hate to see you following a satanic man. We hate to see that. Always, always remember one thing, if you are a Muslim, if Muhammad is from God, why he don't act like the man of God? What the Muslim they say to us about Muhammad, amazing stuff. The fact all the amazing stuff they say, it's disgusting. The prophet, he ordered to free the slaves. The prophet he did not really order to free the slaves he was making slaves 
Bilal himself, he spent his life serving Muhammad as a slave. Muhammad, he had slaves just for sex. And there is a famous one, her name is Mary the Cook. And the Muslims, they fabricated lies saying he didn't marry her. You can go right now and search in Google why the Prophet did not marry Mary the Cook. The Muslim, they will say to you, because she was, she, she did not marry her, she was his slave. And those are fatwas. Just for fun. This man enslaved people just for fun. He is a satanic person who seek power and sex. Imagine a guy, he make verses saying, any women she want to give me her private part. How disgusting. Even Aisha in the Hadith, she said, isn't it a woman ashamed to give herself? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And look how Aisha, she is not a stupid, she is young, yes. But she noticed that Muhammad is nothing but a scam. I do not see, but your Lord hurries in pleasing you. Pleasing what? Sexual pleasure. God, he made verses. Any women she want to give herself to the Prophet, what that would do to Islam? Why God Almighty, the one who created the universe? Do you know how big the universe Imagine God who created the universe. He make verses and chapters about how we can satisfy the sexual desire of a man. His name is Muhammad. God. Saying any woman she want to give herself to the prophet so the prophet can have fun But the prophet he have many wives already. He is not like a Christian prince who is single. I Mean what that will do to Islam what does have to do with God? How that can be from God How that can be from God? You tell me. This is God? And you know the funny that the Muslims they try to flood us with statements like the Quran. Who can you can you make Quran like this? I know I cannot, to be honest with you. I cannot. Anyone remember which verses in the Quran it says you can eat in your houses? Let us see how many of you remember. How many of you remember the verses saying you can you can eat in your houses? <laughs> this is this is God. God, he went to think hard and he decided to tell us where and how you can eat in your house. I mean, come on. I mean, if God is not God, how in the world he come with such a knowledge that we can eat in our house? Thank you. I really, really thank you. This is amazing wisdom. And not only that, if your leg is broken, you can eat in your house. If you are blind, you can eat in your house. I mean, before that, we do not know this. This is God. This is wisdom. Who can make Quran like this? No blame is there upon the blind, nor blame upon the lame, nor any blame upon the sick, nor yourself. I mean, when you hear this, you think we're going to talk about going to nuclear weapon attack or something, and suddenly to say it. If you eat in your houses, what? 
What what? That's astonishing. That is science. That is discovery. This God, he spends centuries thinking about how to make this verse. And not only that, brother. Especially if you are blind. If you are blind, brother. It is not a sin to eat in your house, brother. Why the blind before he used to eat where? I mean, if I cannot eat in my house, where I can eat? In the restaurant? Where before Islam people used to eat? And then the mascara continue. Or the houses of your father. Oof, 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 oof. That's deep. I thought when I was eating in my father's house, I was a thief. But thanks to Muhammad and Allah, now I know it's okay. Or the houses of your mother. Oh boy. Now I feel a lot better. I can eat in the house of my father and my mother. Or the house of your brother. Wow. Things is getting even better and better. I can eat in the house of my brother. Or the house of your sister. Hello. You think Allah is not fair? Here we go. You can eat in the house of your brother and your sister. Or the house of your father, brother. Oh boy, even the uncle is not forgetting. Are you going to continue? What about you say the auntie? And then, yeah, he said actually, read it. Or the house of your father, sister. Like, what the heck? Or the house of your mother's brothers. What? This God. He looked like my grandma drinking coffee with her old lady friend. My friend, did you know what happened to this girl? She is going to divorce. This is God. And then all the house of your mother, sister. I mean, the story is not over yet. Like, hello, or any house you have the key for it. Like, hold on, this is stupid here. So, if my neighbor he gave me the keys because he is going somewhere to feed his cat, I can eat the food he have in his refrigerator. That is too much. Any house, I what if I am a thief? What if somebody gave me the keys, but he did not say you can eat here? Hey, take care of my house when I'm away. Watch over it. And then, or from the house of a friend. And here, the things is getting even bigger. No sin shall it be for you, whether you eat together or apart. <laughs> you know what? I thought it's a sin. I was really, really, really worried. You see this God, he have no problem with kidnapping women, raping them, killing them. Taking children, stealing, lying, even he encouraged people to lie, kissing black stones, going praying in the direction of a stone. But he is very good in details. It is not sin to eat alone or together. What more you want? We have a Muslim, I guess, trying to call me. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello? This guy, he drive me crazy in the text. He want to talk to me, he want to talk to me, and then he hang up. Hello? Hello? Yes. Go ahead. We hear you. Hello. You're alive. Hello. Okay, I can hear you. All right. What do you want to say to us? Well, I cannot hear you through Skype. I only hear you through YouTube. Oh, how come? My my microphone is working here. Yeah. So. Okay. What do you want? How how I can help you? 
I have no idea. You're a Muslim, right? Hmm? Yeah, you have one second because I only hear it through YouTube, so I hear myself double, so it's mute, quite annoying. Mute, mute YouTube, so mute YouTube. I muted YouTube, but I don't hear you through Skype, so that's well, the only trouble I, I have. I don't know what the problem, my friend. My, my Maybe friend. I need to change okay. some what settings about now? What about where now? I can allow. Okay, do you hear me now? Her voice to come through Skype. Do you hear me now? Okay, we will take another Muslim. Sorry. Hello? Do you hear me now? Her voice to come through Skype. Hello? Do you yes. hear me now? Do you hear me, my friend? Hello? Okay, yeah, do you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Sorry. Um, I, um, just a second, just a second. Sorry. Can you hear me? I do. Oh, hey, brother. Hey, my friend. How are you? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no. I'm, um, I'm, I'm an uh, I'm a atheist. Oh, you're an atheist. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I am out of bananas today. Sorry. What was that? What do you want to say to us? You're an atheist. The program here to talk to Muslims. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, I just find it interesting what you guys are talking about. Okay. Well, uh, we, sorry. We, I have to let you go because we are taking the calls from Muslims. We have this guy trying to call it to see this guy. Hello. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Yes, do you uh, remember me? Sure, I remember you. You are the funny guy. The one you don't look like your father, you look like your mother. Correct? Yes. Yeah. 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 So what do you think about yeah. that? Did you think about it? That's why your prophet says that you don't look like your father. You look like my, your brother. If you have if you have sex uh, and you have orgasm first. Yeah. Okay. What what uh, the conclusion come to your mind? Yeah. You say Islam is false, right? I'm asking you about the same topic we asked about, and you did not answer me until now. Why you did okay. not talk about it? Why? Let's, uh, why your prophet he says yeah. the one who comes first will will control the. The look of the baby is that uh, uh, true or this is stupid? Yeah, uh, you uh, claim something else. Well, I mean, uh, we go the same topic we are talking about until now. You did not answer me. Why do I talk about it? Because uh, I want to talk about uh, chapter okay. eighty-six. No problem. Uh, Why don't answer six. this one first? Chapter eighty-six, verse number what six? Yes. Okay. Show me where it says sperm. Show me where it says the sperm. Yes, show me. Will your prophet here explain the hadith? Show me where it says firm. So if it uh, is. Show me where it says firm. Okay. Okay. So let, let us see what it says sperm. Do you want to see? Yeah. Okay. Can you see my YouTube? Yeah. All right. No, Quran. Show me where it says sperm. Yeah, we will show you Quran too. Okay. Hmm. So you are saying this one does not talk about sperm, right? No. Okay, so the Akashian fluid is what? It's uh, 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 ejaculation. So it's, it's ejaculation. So what is the ejaculation? <laughs> Muhammad says, uh, it, uh, 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 we are in the Father's loins. Hmm. So, so what is we the are in so the Father's is, loins. What is the ejaculation? What is that? You said it's yeah, not yeah, sperm. Yeah. So is it sperm oh. or not? Oh yeah, wait. Oh no, 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 wait. Oh, answer it. Uh, I'll send you a link. Don't tell me a link now. Answer. You, you, you read the link. You read the link for me. Now answer me. You said it is ejaculation. What is ejaculation? Is it sperm? When you ejaculate, what you have? You have a sperm or you yeah, have, but you have what? When you ejaculate, water? when you ejaculate, there's like gushing fluid going through your brain, through oh. your uh, ah, voice. in the through brain. You. This is in the brain. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. Ah. This is all. I'll send you the link. The link is in front of me. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Read with me. No. When? No. Uh, from don't, science. Don't waste my time. Yeah, science. Go on, Get lost. Abdul talking about science. You don't even know how to read, uh, write your name. This is what the Quran is saying. Proceeded from between the backbone and the ribs. 
meaning the backbone or the lions of the man but by the way it says the backbone not lions and the ribs of the woman which referring to her chest let us see this guy here hello hello you hear me now well, I can hear you now I uh, fixed my microphone all right my friend Muhammad how, how I can help you Muhammad yeah so I've been listening to your uh, YouTube channel for about a month and I uh, I always finish the whole one and a half hour or two hours that you've been talking wow. about um, uh, the religion Islam and it seems that you are very educated and I have done some research about you it seems that you are very knowledgeable about the topic okay. and I have some uh, I'm in doubt so I'm just trying to confirm the things that you have already been saying okay. and basically I've been thinking about uh, I heard that when uh, Muhammad uh, uh, made up the Quran um, it never got written down until he died many years afterwards is this true correct. because I can't correct okay this is correct yeah. do you know and but, but do you know why do you know why this happened um, from what I know um, it seems that he didn't really give a shit and no 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 you see in no? chapter uh, let us use a good words in the good language chapter, okay sorry chapter Excuse 75 me. chapter 75 verse number 17 it says inna alayna jama'uhu wa qur'anahu allah said supposedly that it is the duty of allah to collect the quran and to recite the quran not the duty of any human being this is why in the beginning the muslims they never collected the quran because simply this is what is really the duty of allah okay that's very interesting <laughs> yeah. this is the first time i hear you talking about it as well i don't well i know don't talk sure. about everything i know my friend i'm like uh, you know like it, it go to the library unless you touch the book you open it you don't see what is inside right so you yeah. know, mention a topic so we go there so now here you notice here that Muhammad is claiming that the one who collect the Quran it should be Allah but this is proof Islam to be false because never the Quran collected by Allah okay yeah I've been trying to reach as much hadith and Quran since you since I've been listening to you because uh, every single time I hear you talk I I read the chapter you're giving us and and I'm just like blown away because Right now, I'm nearing my uh, 27th birthday, and my whole family is religious, and uh, I don't know anything except Islam. And when I, as I got older, and I got more exposed to the internet, and as you said it, you walked for I don't know how many hours to a library to just read a book. When I came, uh, when the internet became very available to me, and I started researching my own religion, I felt that this is strange <laughs> it's very strange so I'm just trying to collect as much evidence for myself to how make sure that you are listening to me today I listened to you since the beginning of the broadcast so you, you saw broadcast. what happened with this gentleman before you right yeah Angelo okay what do you think what let us say if I am speaking to you not him from the beginning yeah. what do you think what what is your decision will be after all of this uh it seems that every single thing that you point out is accurate i cannot deny it because it's plainly written there and i can understand arabic a little bit but when i go by word for word and i uh, read what's there it says just exactly how you say it some things get lost in trans in translation it almost seems that somebody is trying to cover up someone's uh, behind uh, because there are a lot of mistakes so what i will, can what will uh, what that will lead you my friend you are uh, you know you are you are a smart person you are watching you are seeing i never said something without showing proof correct yes and all is from yes. islamic website islamic translation islamic uh, print islamic reference nothing i i don't use the bible to prove anything yes okay so now what you with your uh, you are a, a growing man and uh, you know you are watching for for long not only this video today you are watching for long so isn't it enough after watching all what you show i showed 
Isn't it enough to prove to you that Muhammad, there's no way he's from God? That's true, but I have a lot of family members who I have discussions with, and sometimes it gets gets uh, quite heated. And then uh, I try to help others as well, and I try to see uh, whatever I think is wrong or right. And it seems that sometimes they are still trying to, I mean, they're still able to convince me somehow. Look, like how? G give me an example how they can convince you. Like what? Like they say that some things are very hard to understand without the tafsir. But when I look at the tafsir, it, it seems that it's also uh, rubbish. <sighs> it's, it's, mm, I find it very hard to pinpoint what's exactly wrong. Uh, because sometimes they give, they give rem references and you can interpret it in certain ways because of Arabic language. Mm. I will give you a tafsir. Uh, what, what is your education, my friend? My education. What do you uh, What do you mean with like, education? You go to school. You know. You know. Like, do you have some education? Yeah, I currently busy with my university. Okay, so uh, are, I have studied other things as well. So this is my wonderful. third. Uh, okay, that's third that's, degree. That's wonderful. So you are a person who went to school. You are not like a, uh, you know, some, with my respect to everybody, some people did not have their chance to go to school, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. But look with me, this is chapter number Qaf, chapter Qaf, verse number one. Qaf wal Quran al Majid. You said you know a little bit of Arabic, correct? Yeah, I can understand because I'm personally from Morocco and I'm not from the Arabic part of Morocco. I'm a Mazik, the Amazigh. Berber. Amazigh. Okay. Yeah, really? yeah, the northern. Uh, it says, from his narration on the authority of Ibn Abbas, that he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, Qaf is a letter. Qaf, he says, it is an azure mountain overlooking the world, this world, and the color of the sky takes from it. Allah swear by it. Now, your family, they say to you, you cannot understand unless you read the interpretation. Okay, this is the interpretation. What, what we will do now? There's a mountain surrounding, surrounding the earth, and it's blue, and the sky taking its color from it? Yeah, this is strange. Exactly how you pound up, how you... Uh, point out many things. This is also what I stumble upon and I Notice that it's very incorrect and it makes no sense I don't know what I need to do with this kind of piece of information that somebody Spent so much time making this up very confusing And there is no reason for somebody is a Muslim to lie about his religion, right? I mean those are scholars those are not Christians Right. Yeah, and uh, exactly. Uh, yeah, so uh, if we if we go and you know uh, uh, have you ever heard of a scholar? His name is Ibn Kathir. Yeah, Ibn Kathir. I know him. Yeah. Okay. Who is Ibn Ibn Kathir? Most of them they say. Some of them they say that Ibn Kathir is a very big scholar. But you will notice that the Muslims, when they want, they like Ibn Kathir. When they want, they don't want Ibn Kathir. Uh, have you ever heard of a chapter it's called Al Qalam? Um. Not sure. Maybe I know the the what's written inside, but not necessarily the uh, the, the chapter name. Let me show you the verses. Chapter sixty-eight, verse number one. Have you ever read this verse? I probably have read it, but sometimes you know, I also when I was younger, I was reading Quran the whole time, but Arabic is not my primary language. Okay. Uh, so I read it without knowing what it actually says. <laughs> okay. Well, if we go, let us see if we can get the interpretation for it in English. This is a chapter 68, verse number one. Let us go here. Always take into your consideration that Muslims, they don't, they are not giving you a correct let us say an honest translation. Ibn Kathir in Arabic is not the same as in English. If we read here, it says, uh, by the pen, apparent meaning that he's referring to the actual pen that used to write. Uh, uh, but here there's a verse before it says, Qaf, and the similar to them from the individual individual letter letters that appear in the beginning of the Quran chapters. This is, has been discussed in length previously and there's no need to repeat when you see translator they say that 
it's mean he is hiding something let me show you what he is hiding this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic it says here and this is the official government website of the kingdom of Saudi Arabia and here you notice how they lie and they fabricate in the translation it says Noon, who a hoot on a al Adim al Muhir. Do you understand what I'm saying, or you don't? Uh, not really. Okay, I can't, I catch no ball. Noon is a big whale on the ocean, and he is carrying the seven earthers. As the Imam Abu Jafar ibn Jurayj he said, ibn Jurayr. and then he continued says Allah he created noon and and he made the steam go up and then from there he opened a hole in the sky and he made the earth flat and all of this in the top of the whale noon and then noon he start moving so the earth start moving and shaking so Allah he decided to put mountains in the top of the earth so the earth will not move where we can find that in the English translation, it's gone. Period. Yeah, I also experienced this. You are completely right. Yeah, and here, let me show you. If we go to the chapter of Moon, the same chapter we are talking about, okay, which is 68.1. If we go here, This is why you cannot learn Islam from Muslims because simply, especially if you don't know Arabic, you know, they fabricate, they don't give you the, 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 the true answer. Read carefully with me. This is Ibn Abbas. Your family, they say to you, you will understand the Quran only if you read the, trans the interpretation, right? Yeah, exactly. And let us read together. And from his narration and the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon, Noon, he says, Allah swear by noon. I mean, that's funny. Allah swear by noon. Why Allah swear by noon? People, they swear by something bigger than them, more important. Then, which is a whale that carries the earth on its back while in water and beneath which is a bowl and under the bowl, there's a rock and under the rock, there is a dust. And none knows what is under the dust of Allah. Here, look at the, the look, look at the honesty. Like, come on. I mean, we know everything, and behind the dust, we do not know. Don't ask me, please. That's it. <laughs> you know. So, what is, what is this? This is this is religion. The Muslims yeah. are reading this for centuries, and they believe in it. And now the Muslims, they will try to hide it from you. And then, not only that. Okay, are we done? We're not done. The name of the whale is Lewish, not Lewish Farrakhan. This is different Lewish. And it said, it is name, it is Lutaya. The name of the bull is Bahamut. And some they say it is Telahut or Liwana. I mean, look how, how many names already. I mean, they are not sure. And the whale is in, in the sea called Edward. And it's like a small bull in a huge sea. The sea is in a Hollywood rock. Whereby there's four thousand cracks. Amen. They, they knew even how many cracks there, and uh, until now, <laughs> and, until now, science could not dive to the deep ocean. But the Muslims they dive already, and they count the, the crack in the ground, and then from each crack, water spring coming out from the earth, and it's are, are we done? No, we are not done. And it's also said that noon is one of the name of Allah. Like what the heck? A second he was a whale. Now it's a name of Allah. I'm writing this down. This is this is the most interesting bedtime story I've seen past months. I've been listening to you. Oh, well, my friend, keep listening, and you will hear every day a story. Islam is nothing but a madness. And you know, look, I mean, the, the story continue. But you see how they hide in the translation in Ibn Kathir. In Ibn Kathir, in English, we cannot find this. We can find it only in Arabic. So you need to ask yourself why the one who translated the interpretation he did not translate because it's very embarrassing this is obviously it's very embarrassing 
So we cannot translate that to you. Otherwise, everybody will laugh at us. Yeah. Oh my God, man. This is like a whole new, whole new level of uh, stupidity. I mean, most of the time I lie, I lay in my bed and I hear your stories and I'm close my eyes. I off my phone. I can hear you talk and I laugh sometimes because it gets so hilarious. But this, the more, like, I, the more I keep digging, the more I feel that there is no. Uh, so my friend, you just call Islam <laughs> stupidity. So why you don't say I am out of Islam? Yeah, I think, I think I just needed this confirmation. Okay, so I think I don't, I don't, I don't feel. Uh, uh, Muslim at all. So can you say I am out of Islam? Yeah, I can say it. I'm that's, out of Islam that's definitely. My friend. That's beautiful. I'm so happy for you. Very happy for Th you. Thank you. Now I want to ask you a question. What do you think about Christianity? Um, I mean, I study a lot of science uh, during school and I have my own questions regarding uh, regarding God. I don't know if there's a God. I don't know if if there is not, I'm, I have, I'm not decided. I'm not atheist or whatsoever. Okay. Um, but there are so many religions. So to me, it feels like did somebody create our, our universe and so on and so on. I just don't know the answer and I'm searching for an answer. I sometimes I feel that I have no connection to God. Sometimes I feel there is a higher power. Um, my wife uh, is Christian. And I always respect her religion and I respect uh, Christianity way more than Islam because it's way more peaceful. But when I look at the past of, uh, of the religion, it seems it has not always been so peaceful. So I have my questions. But when I listen to you, it almost feels like you're not associating yourself with the uh, uh, past which has a lot of bloodshed and so on no, no, but you no, just no, have let, a let me, let it me seems that you have a personal connection to god and jesus let me correct you my friend. you see okay. always when you understand history you cannot just read about it you have to live the history so yeah if they say to you there is a history of a blood and then you say history of who is that history of christianity or history of christians so there's a huge difference what if i show you now history that christian prince was in jail are you going to judge jesus because of me no okay what is what i have to do with jesus that's not even fair i don't judge islam because somebody here is a criminal i judge islam by the founder of islam by muhammad nobody can say muhammad was a bad muslim right so um <laughs> I, mean, I mean if you say he's a, he's a he's not a muslim that would be funny right yeah but he was quite a bad person okay, but he's a bad person no problem but you know but the, the question is you cannot you know i'm not judging Islam because a guy his name is Osama bin Laden. I'm judging Islam by what Muhammad did So if you want to judge Christianity my friend, you don't judge it by a Christian Prince regardless of a Christian Prince is a decent man or not You judge it by the Messiah himself and here I say to you. Do you find a better name than his name? Do you find better teaching than his teaching? Do you find better wisdom than his wisdom? Do you find more you know truthful loving and same time extremely wise than him? So, as long as you go to school, let, let us practice one sentence of Jesus. He said, love your enemy. What do you say about this sentence? Sounds quite nice. I find it very hard myself to, to hate somebody because it's, it's so bad. It feels so wrong. Yeah, but and you he, always, but listen, you always, listen, yeah. He's your enemy. He is your enemy. He's already your enemy. And he says, you love your enemy. And look what that will do if every single human being practice one sentence of Christ teaching you say the Christianity is a religion Christianity is not a religion it is not Christianity is a belief in the mighty God is not a religion you love your enemy and I love your enemy my enemy and every one of us in this in earth love the enemy there's no enemy left the earth became heaven so the message of Jesus to us is to live in heaven right now, not even tomorrow. Yes, there is heaven to come, but if you believe in Jesus, you can be in heaven. Because when you love your enemy, and all of us, we love our enemies. We do not need a police. We do not need an army. We do not need because everybody became a loving person. A loving person will not steal. A loving person will not kill. A loving person will not rape. A loving person will not allow somebody to die hungry in the street. He will not be greedy just one sentence of the teaching of christ can beat all the wisdom and the wise man in the world one sentence can solve the problem of all mankind 
and this is why my friend I believe that he is the almighty God for nobody can be wise as he is is there something I can like read up about on Jesus and God because I would like to know more read the four gospel my friend the four gospel but as, but as I said to you you know I mean yeah one sentence for me is is is, is a gospel just one sentence because that sentence can solve all our problems. All the the evil we have is based because we don't, you know, when you love your enemy, that's mean you love everybody. That's it. There's nobody. There's no limit. Human being have a problem that he love himself, but he wow. don't love people. Even if somebody love a family because he they they provide him something, like I don't want to be lonely, so I love my children maybe. I don't, I don't want to be lonely, so I love my wife. But you will see the Messiah, he come to us with extreme love, exceeding the limit and the mind of a human mindset. Love your enemy. So we live in our world with love, and then love will come back to me. Because if I love everybody, then everybody love everybody, which means including me. I'm a winner. You know what I mean? Yes, I understand, so, so but then I, the on balance. the other side, I have, I have some atheists saying things like, "But how can a God be so powerful? How can he can he make a stone, the a stone bigger than himself that he cannot even carry? And if he cannot, then he's not the strongest, well, this and is, so this on." Is, you see, this is because of their ignorance. Because Jesus, when he carried the cross, he, you know, Jesus, he come to us as a normal human being, as a man. But in the same time, isn't it the Bible says that Jesus, he was controlling the nature. Jesus, he, you know, he healed the blind. Jesus, he resurrected people from death. So they remember only that thing he cannot carry. So why? So what? He is coming in the form of a human being. As simple as that. The flesh of a human being. He did not come as a, like the, what they want, a Batman. If Batman is, exists, that is God. <laughs> I mean, so... He is coming in a form of a human being, yet yeah. yet he do what no human being can do. So the silliness of some people sometimes that they pick up their cherries from all the story of Jesus. You remember only this one? If you want to be fair, remember the rest. Then I have another question. I understand your point. I absolutely do. Okay. Um, in what form does God come? From what? In what form? What form? Our in what God, shape? In, in Christianity, yeah. in Christianity, God is a spirit. So our 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 God, uh, he can come in any form he wants because simply he is God. He's Almighty. That's why we call it. What what, what the word Almighty mean? Do you know? Yeah, this, yeah, the best there is. Well, he can do whatever he wish. So he, uh, he can come to us as a man. Actually, uh, actually the Bible says like uh, uh, when the Messiah he was baptized, they saw uh, like uh, a spirit in the image of, of the shape of a bird. And they heard a song say, this is my only begotten son. So God, he can come to us in any way he wants. God, he came to Abraham as a man. And Jesus said before Abraham, I, I am. And Abraham knows my day. So he came to Abraham as a man. And why not? If God cannot come as a man, he cannot be God anyway. Because if he cannot be something, that means he is limited. You know what I mean? I understand. It sounds way better than... What Islam has to teach when it comes to him having hands and Not sitting on a chair. The Quran says how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. So Allah saying he cannot have a son because he don't have a girlfriend. Our God do not need a girlfriend to have a son. So, secondly, we don't understand that God he have a son in a physical way, which means God he have sex with the women, and then they give birth to a person. His name is baby Jesus. <laughs> That's not a story. So, uh, uh, the Quran. Always speak in a in a let us say in a very poor IQ, you know, very poor IQ. Like you can tell that the one who is making the Quran is not even did not even go to you know the Muslim they say that Muhammad was illiterate, right? But yeah, but you also said on his dying bed or whatever when he was about to die, it gave me a piece of paper no, and no, pen no, or whatever. I, actually, I don't agree he's illiterate. That's what the Muslim says, but that's not the question. Yeah. Illiteracy, my friend, is not about being, you know, knowing how to write, how to read. Illiteracy is about being ignorant. And this is what the Quran says. 
the Quran never said Muhammad did not know how to write how to read but how you can you know confirm to the ignorant to say to them your prophet was not illiterate the Quran but the Quran says that you see if you go in the Quran the problem that uh, uh, Muslim do not want to listen uh, you go in the Quran chapter 2 verse number 78 can you see the screen yeah I can okay what the verse saying we can change the translation if you want I don't know what translation you like to read we can go let us say Yusuf Ali yeah it's any translation is okay with me all of them they are wrong by the way I don't uh, take any one of them but uh, you know uh, as, as, the, as always we say customers come first <laughs> <laughs> you know this is customer first policy okay this is Yusuf Ali okay and they are among them illiterate who know not the book do you see it yes so who is illiterate according to Quran the one who don't have a book who do not know a book nowhere in the Quran says that illiteracy is about knowing or not knowing how to write how to read the Quran confirm in many verses but Muslims are what I can say I don't want to say something it's very embarrassing. The whole Quran says it clearly that the illiteracy the Quran speak about is about not knowing the true God and you don't have a book. That's why the Quran called the Christians and the Jews people of the book. Yeah, I hear it quite often. Yeah. What does it say in Arabic uh, when it comes to illiteracy? That's it. It's on me. On me. This is you. See the word um, uh, illiteracy is on me. Here, here you go. This is the word the Muslim they say that Muhammad is Ummi because it says in the Quran that he is Ummi. But Ummi is taken from the Jews. You know, the Gomai in in the in the in the Bible is the is the one who is they are from the nations. They are not believers in God, so they call them illiterate. You know, but it, all those verses in front of us. It says and confirm that as an example. It says here. Uh, chapter 3 verse number 20 they say and say to those who were given the scriptures the Jews and the Christians and those who they are illiterate do you see it yeah why they are illiterate because they are Arab pagans they don't know Thank a book so here we can confirm that what the Quran and Islam teach about illiteracy is about knowing God but those funny Abdul they don't want to listen so when I debate them I say okay you want to say your prophet is illiterate no problem <laughs> but I can't do I give up <laughs> you know it's yeah. like somebody he want to prove to me that his prophet is a donkey okay I agree with you no problem illiterate, illiterate at the end of the day he's illiterate because he is illiterate about the Bible he's illiterate about God he's illiterate about everything and yet he claimed that he is the most knowledgeable person So right now I'm like 60% there, like for 60% I believe it, but there's still like a big piece where friend, I find it. My friend, uh, you already left Islam and we are yeah, yeah, for you. Yeah, absolutely. So, so, you know, trust me, I am not going to invite you for something bad, which me, myself, I'm happy to have. If, if a Christianity, if being, if being with a Christ is something ugly, nobody is forcing me. I live in America. I am a free man. I can be an atheist in a second. Exactly. So why in the world I want to believe in him? And I think you can tell I am not a low IQ person. Yes. So why in the world I want to believe in the Messiah? And why I want to invite you to believe in him? Let me tell you something, my friend. Uh, your name is Muhammad, right? Yeah. Okay. Muhammad. Time go fast and nobody guarantee what is going to be tomorrow tomorrow might never come maybe to me maybe to you I might go to sleep never wake up it happened to millions of people before us it happened every day do we agree exactly yeah that's true so what is my guarantee that even tomorrow will come I am invite you right now to accept the Messiah the Messiah he said clearly there's no salvation but by me I am the truth I am the resurrection 
I am the Alpha I am the Omega so I am inviting you now to accept because this is an opportunity might not come to you tomorrow you never know maybe an yeah, hour from now me on you maybe we die yeah but how about if I um, I feel that almost to a point that I'm trying to believe but deep inside I feel like I'm still not all the way there so even if I would accept it, it still feels like I'm not honest. Because no, I don't want you to accept if you don't believe. Yeah. No, 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 we don't do that. We don't say Shahada in this Christianity. No, no. I'm not asking you to say, I, I, I accept the Christ if you don't accept the Christ. You have to be honest because even that, if, if you do that, if you do that, still you're not saved. You're not saved, you know? Yeah. You have to say it from your heart. You have to be a believer, you know? The Messiah, he said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. So saying to him, Lord, will not save you, my friend, unless you believe in him and you follow him so I am asking you to believe and to follow not to say I accept saying I accept it just to announce you believe but not just to say a statement and that will save you I, I understand I understand you come completely so that's why I don't want to do like right, a okay. false conversion no, no, where I don't want you to do that. oh I don't yeah want when that. when in about a week I might still have doubts and then All right. you know I will feel that I will, I will personally feel that okay I was not ready yet to do it no problem. because personally my like I said my wife is a Christian her whole family is Christian and they have no nothing else than Christianity I've also uh, back in when I when I first was dating her like three years ago I went to a church and then it felt still very strange to me I just wanted to experience because I've always been very open to every everything and right, friend. Then, uh, you know, I, I will pray for you and I ask everybody here in the chat please pray to our brother here Muhammad so the Lord will open his eyes and will bring him to see the truth and the truth will set him free we pray my friend that the Lord will help you will guide you will open your eyes and he will receive you he said knock at my door and I will open for you so please my friend all what I'm asking you you don't say anything just knock at his door say to him Lord I want to know you the Messiah the Christ the great name though everybody speak about you where are you I want to know you show yourself to me and tell me more about you let me see you let me know you then I will believe and my friend he would answer your question and he would answer answer to you and I will be happy to have you again in my program here anytime you feel you have a question you want to talk, talk to me you want to say I, be, I accept the Christ and give us the great news or even says I don't want to accept you are welcome to call me yeah I, I, I really appreciate it I really appreciate the prayers I've been following the chat as well I appreciate everybody being so nice and everything I can uh, really feel the warmth from the Christian community and it's like completely different from Islam where as soon as you have doubts it's like kafir bila, kafir bila, you know stuff a lot and that kind of uh, stuff so I, I definitely appreciate all the prayers but I to a certain point I even envy people who have beliefs because right now I feel like I'm without any any faith and like I said I'm always I've always been searching because sometimes I lay in my bed and I'm thinking what is this all for and it makes no sense but then I'm thinking I can just live my life and be happy but right, there's always there I'm, this I'm happy for you uh, 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 first of all regardless what 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 your decision first of all yeah. you did the right thing today you decide to leave Islam at least which mean now you are ready to receive the good news because the first thing we need to do before we can build a house is to establish let us say the, uh, the corners of the house you know the rocks of the house and the, the rocks of the house cannot be built on sand so now you got rid of the sand and now you are seeing the rocks so now you can build so we prayed for you and everybody is praying for you and let us pray all of us together that soon the Lord he will bring you and he will make you and he will help you to build your house a house with your beautiful family beautiful wife children to be all of you enjoying the word and the teaching of Christ and you will see how amazing that life will be Actually, there is something I did not share with anyone. All of you, you know, I was, you know, for the last week, having very hard time, blood pressure. Even I bought blood pressure uh, to see what's wrong happening with me. And I tried. I mean, pretty horrible. I cannot even concentrate. And then I decided yesterday 
to pray a deep prayer from my heart and for sure this is the deep prayer it's about me I said Lord I need my head I'm using it please help me and I woke up as as if nothing happened in my life as if I have no pain as if as you see I'm speaking now for how many hours I yeah. just made a prayer and the Lord he always is there for sure you know some people they might say to you there's many people they pray the Lord the Lord he always act in a mysterious way when you speak really from your heart when you are a person especially if, if you know if you are if, if you are his his servant if you are his soldier if you are a person not asking for yourself then the story is different so don't think about yourself as much you think about what is right think about what is right say to him Lord please show me what is right it's not about you it's not about me it's always about what is right absolutely if there is a God I would absolutely want him to guide me and achieve the most I can in my life and make as many people happy around me as well and I'm from my profession I'm a social worker helping people is the only thing I do so uh, it's it's an it's a nice feeling to to help other people and to pray for other people as well but the last time when I experienced such thing when I was still religious because then I still believed in a in in, in some kind of God and now like like I said, I'm 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 still searching, and I I really ho hope I can find God, and I will. My friend, I will be happy I, yeah. to receive. I'm not going to because I I feel like I'm putting pressure on you. I don't want to do that. So, no, no, no. I don't feel any pressure at all. Sometimes when I hear you talk to people, maybe they feel pressure to immediately convert. I don't feel that. I'm very outspoken, and I always try to be honest. And I also heard you yelling. Uh, Abdul, Abdul. It's, okay, for me it's maybe funny, but for you, you're having high blood pressure. You know. Then I also feel very sad for you, but I completely understand your point, and I think this is also the right way for me to be deciding it on my uh, by myself and coming to a conclusion by myself. All right, I agree with you, and I, I will be yeah. happy again to hear you soon. Let me know if you need any help, and with this, I want to say uh, good evening or good night for you, and I hope to see a good news from you soon. All right. Now, yeah before okay. you go I advise you to start reading the four Gospels you know just read them read them but when you read yeah. the gospel my friend try to uh, to read to know not to judge you know which means try to learn I mean I'm learning now about who is this uh, Christ what he's talking about so open your heart and don't be a person who is like uh, uh, consider this as a book of a novel or you know this is not so you have to read it in very the, the special way and try to live the story not only to read the story it's like you know try to make it like if you are watching a movie and you are in the movie not a person who is standing in front of the screen so try always when you read something the Messiah he said try to imagine yourself you are between those audience and then you can understand better Okay, I will absolutely do that. All right, my friend. Thank um, you very much for calling. Anything, anything then I have one questions? last question. What, okay. Which language do you recommend me to read it in? Uh, well, I don't know which the best language for you. What is your best um, language? English? No, Dutch is my best language. Then you read it in the best language because uh, you have to understand it perfectly. Uh, trans always translation, by the way, is going to give uh, some limitation. Uh, but uh, with, with, you know, with the help of the Lord, uh, uh, will be good. Is it possible to find it in the original scripts? Because uh, because you have to read it, and the, then you don't speak the language. Do you speak Hebrew? Do you speak uh, Greek? No. I but I know people who can though. Yeah, but it's you who is going to read it, not them. Yeah. You know, you, it's, so it's better to read it in the language, uh, best language for you. Okay. And Christianity is not like Islam. You have like you know they pray in Arabic, but yet they don't understand Arabic. You know, I mean, <laughs> you can pray in any language you want. You, know, you, you can't pray even without saying any word. It's almost like Allah only understands Arabic. Right, because this is the God of the Arab. You know, he's an, he's an Arabian religion. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling. Okay, man. Blessings to you. I hope you can uh, manage our uh, high blood pressure. Don't make, uh, let those uh, <laughs> God is uh, ignorant people make you angry. Always try to calm down and, and, yeah. and don't get your health like. Yeah.
in a in a bad shape or whatsoever because sometimes they can really hear you yell so much and i feel so sad for you so what we, pizza. Do, what we can do sometimes i feel sorry for them and i lose my at the end of the day i'm you know i'm a human like everybody and yeah. uh, you lose your patient i mean you repeat the same stupid thing and still somebody don't want to get it. and that what make you upset yeah, but they are so indoctrinated. But I think the small things that you say to them, they it still plants a seed in their mind, and they will start to doubt. And as soon as they research themselves, that's what that's what happens to me. Ever, have you ever saw ever like a, a faucet dropping water for a long time? Yeah. Do you know what the faucet can do? A drop of water in the rock down neath is going to make a hole. Yeah. And this is what we do here. Exactly. Thank you. That's why. I, I also try to do the same thing what you do to other people around me now that are also still Muslim because I still see I still see too many Muslim people do crazy things just because of their religion, even though they live in Western Europe and they uh, believe in a faith which does which is not compatible compatible with the life they're leading here right now because of the rebel and all the crazy things, the hijab, uh, people missing opportunities, job opportunities just because they have to wear the hijab, uh, parents hitting their children. I've seen everything myself. I, I've seen the bad side of Islam because I've lived it for so long and it's really horrible to see it. So to a certain extent, most people don't even know how bad Islam is and they, they have so, so many. Uh, so you know, uh, like you yourself look like struggling with Islam for a while and but you you don't want to say i decide to leave it because uh, it's it's kind of uh, too much just to, to do that you know like like you are already listening to me and watching my videos yeah and already you agree that this is no way this is from god but you see here here you need to, uh, here you need to to take a, a some change in your life if you are com convinced of something don't wait i mean what the point just because my family, they, they believe in the same yeah, thing? Yeah, it's, it's because of my parents. I feel very sad for my mom because sometimes when I make a small hint, my mom is like I seven, I 70 understand. plus. I and I cannot, yeah. if I say something she said, she will think I am possessed by, by Satan or whatever. And she will just cry for days long. She will never understand. So to me, it's very hard and very difficult know, because it causes me a lot of pain. Yeah, I understand. I understand. Okay, my friend. I, I had to get you let you go and uh, feel free to call me when you feel like talking again. All right. It is good. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, Have care. a good night. Take care, you too. Bye -bye. All right. I think we have a good time today. I'm not going to stay longer. You know, uh, you see, uh, like we talk about, I made a prayer to the Lord and he answered my prayer, but doesn't mean I'm not going to get sick. I might even die tomorrow. That will not change my faith in the Lord because simply you see it is you you are doing something and uh, 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 whatever your duty is in the earth it doesn't change anything that at the end of the day you are under the nature and the law of the nature of a human being you will die you will get sick you might get killed you might have an accident and always don't judge the Lord by things happen to you. You are born to die, my friend. You are born to die. What Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. They are dead. Burying the dead. Always remember that. So don't be the same as the atheist. Say, okay, why this person he have a cancer? He was a Christian, good a Christian, but cancer have nothing to do with being good a Christian or bad a Christian. Cancer happened to atheists, to believers, disbelievers, all kind of people. The, the Bible says that the Lord, he created the sun to raise above the good and the bad, and all they will get the benefit of it. So we are out of heaven. And the day we are out of heaven, that's mean we are out to die and the only way to come back to this heaven is to be with the lord so you will be sick even if you are a believer you will die even if you are a believer you might get killed you are a believer 
that will not change anything but there's a huge difference between somebody he is a believer and someone he is not death means nothing to me except seeing the Lord soon death to someone he don't believe is horrible there is a there is a story about a monk he is dying they ask he, you know the, uh, the other monks they ask for a doctor to come and see him maybe he can help him the doctor get in he check him out the guy is very old he said to him I think I don't think you will live until tomorrow you are in a very bad shape and then he came out the doctor and he told the others he said I think your brother he let, lost his mind they said why he said I just told him you will die by the end of maybe tonight I mean but he gave me a big smile I just told him he would die. I think he lost his mind. He said, "Why you don't go and ask him why he is smiling after you what you told him? If he can talk." So he went inside. He said, "You know, I have a question. I just told you, you will die maybe in a few hours from now, and you give me a big smile. You did not say anything. Can you tell me why? Why you are so happy? You look so excited." The guy he said, "I spend all my life for this moment, and you are telling me I will see him soon." I will be with him soon and I will not be happy so for a believer is like landing in the airport of God for a disbeliever it is the end it is a terrifying moment which mean even let us say a Muslim they say uh, atheist they say whatever they say Christianity is false even that will give you happiness even in the moment of death for you are not left alone death for you is just a start of a journey it is not the end of it death for them is the end a very ugly end so for us as a believers sickness does not mean God he hate us absolutely not actually you know it can be for your good sometime when I was in Germany I met I met uh, with the Muslim women I was invited by a brother Amir you know Amir right you see his YouTube I was invited by him to his uh, uh, you know he have fiance family and I was invited for like a lunch with them even though I don't really like to eat in any one house but I've been forced really I could not say no and there they invited two ex-muslims one from Jordan and the other one was Lebanese if you remember the Lebanese lady who spoke to me in Skype and she decided to leave Islam you remember her the one her brother is a sheikh from Hezbollah big big sheikh for the Shia she was there this woman, she started thinking about Christ after she had her cancer, not before. Look, she should deny God. She have cancer. Oh, sorry, not cancer. Sorry, not cancer. I'm not mistaken. Uh, she have. She. They told her like you know, you might die because she have a very hard problem. You know, it's not cancer. It's my mistake. So she started thinking about accepting the messiah after she'd been told that her life in a very bad shape and she might die anytime so if death will bring me to christ death is welcome if an illness will bring me to christ i would love that i prefer to have any illness better than dying ignorant and going to where i don't like to go So everybody, he have, you know, let us say, he received his ticket. He received his invitation in somehow. And some of us, we, re you know, we reject and we refuse. And some of us, we accept with happiness. Now, the one who reject, he will pay the price. This invitation will not come every day, every day, every day, forever. Time will come, you breathe and never breathe again. That's it. It was last, your last moment. After that, 
there's no solution he give you time long time and you reject once after once after once and this is why I feel sorry actually for the Muslims because you know those who who uh, been in contact with the Christians and Christian they did their hard work to make them believe and they refuse those will be questions harshly because it's not you see according to the Bible if somebody never heard of Christ he will be saved he will be judged by what he knew as an example if somebody live in the jungle somewhere like in Brazil he never met anybody he knows the Bible anyone he saw a sentence from a Christ it's not fair to judge him to say okay you did not accept Christ we will let you go to hell no the Bible speak carefully saying that those people will be judged by their knowledge which mean by what God gave them in their heart there is something God he gave you when he created you to know what is right and what's wrong by that little knowledge which you have you will be judged and that is fair so a person who knew about Christ and did he reject he will be judged badly which means his his uh, 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 his judgment will be different and actually this is this is fair if somebody have a let us say uh, he's born with mental illness he will not be judged God is about justice this guy he have no idea he, he don't know what I'm talking about right he's, he have a brain defect this person considered the same as a child he will go to heaven children in Christianity they will go to heaven so you will be judged by your knowledge and the Muslims already they knew they've been taught they've been told and they reject so you will be judged and the judgment day is going to come and the irony is the Muslim believe that the one who will come in the judgment day is Jesus but Muhammad the deceiver he gave them different image and different name and different look of Jesus for he decided to replace him for he is the devil this is why Muhammad he changed his name to Muhammad from Qasim to Muhammad Muhammad mean the praised one it's obvious that Muhammad is the devil for he is claiming to be the praised one there's no way a prophet who worship God he call himself the praised one this is an this is a godly name the praised one is a godly name is not a name to be given to a man how Muhammad yet claim to be a man who worship God serve God but yet he gave himself a God name it's an insult to be called Muhammad for that is a name of God the praised one what a satanic way to make people praise you by calling yourself the praised one if Muhammad is the praised one who is the praised to Allah ask yourself such a question I want to say guys thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you don't forget to download the videos as you know we don't keep our videos for long and those who do not know by the way this is a website here I have my account there in minds.com until now not many of you subscribe as there I have all those thousand subscriptions still people don't go there I don't know why it's a it's a easy to to, to log in uh, uh, easy to create an account and it's always good to have a back uh, backup account and there I post my videos there especially the one mostly like deleted so you can find all reference or at least you can find the name you know because you can search the same title for the last 24 hours and you can find the deleted video so please download sorry I mean log in that account there or subscribe and it's free is the same as Facebook and Twitter and they guarantee freedom of speech that's why I am there they are not like uh, Twitter and YouTube and Instagram even if you say hi they say to you goodbye there we can be free and we can talk so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and uh, don't forget to pray to the gentleman who left Islam uh, Muhammad and to pray to the other brother who accepted the Messiah and he is he, he rejoined his family to be Christian and to worship the Lord with this Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again take care